Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Seems good. Let's continue with Long War of the Chosen, wherein we have up to 12 enemies. It's time to rescue a scientist. For some reason, we can see these two at the moment. So at the very least, we've got, I think that's a second tier trooper and a flamethrower to deal with, a uh, so-called purifier. The evac is not too far from uh, uh, from the scientist, but given the shape of things, of the terrain here, it's not that good either. Uh, but meanwhile, our squad, we have Bivim, Skirmisher, Rorosaur, the very accurate shooty rocket technical, uh, Jakubek with the reaction fire ranger, our specialist who's going to be a pretty good reaction fire eventually, but not right now. Stardust with sniper rifle and I am the sky is our shinobi. We've got pretty much unlimited turns almost and just a bit more than the minimum baseline of enemies to potentially run into. Kyung, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Up bright and early. Uh, I think you might be referring to the fact that the time zones changed. Because it's pretty much the same. Uh, the usual time for me. We do have obsessive reloader on I Am The Sky. But it's not often that we'd be having I Am The Sky shoot. So a blue move might result in a reload. But it, it can't happen if the weapon is already fully loaded. Uh, there was one other person with negative traits somewhere, but I think we're getting that fixed. So that's the only one of those that we have to think about playing around this time. I would like to get uh, Stardust up on this roof, if we can. And we immediately see a squad with our first blue move, and it's pretty far away. So we've got one, two, three, four, five enemies minimum that we know of. That is, if we're very lucky, half the map, but unlikely. I kind of want to grapple up here, except it is a three-turn cooldown. But on the other hand, the scouting that we might gain right off the bat from that could be very useful. So let's get Buvim up here. Hopefully there's no drone on the roof. I don't think they ever start on the roof. I could be wrong. Uh, something's weird with our line of sight over here. But I'm pretty sure it would be showing us I will go. if we could see something. Okay, that's that's really weird. Um, I'm going to save and reload. See if we can fix that. Meant myself, breakfast with some tea hacks, then off to work. Fair enough. Hope you have a nice breakfast. Alright, can we see things properly? Looks like the answer's yes, and there's a drone right here that is terrifying. Um, I don't see how... It doesn't seem like we should be able to know that that drone is there. Um, if, we had a, if we had a Reaper that was close to the drone, that would make sense, but... Um, yeah, this is just another bug. So we loaded a save to 
fix one bug and found another. Um, I'm going to get Jacka back up here. I at least want reaction fire on these guys. If we get spotted next turn, because that drone is going to want to fly up onto the roof, more than likely. Well, it's not more than likely, but it's uncomfortably likely. Let's get Stardust as close to the roof as possible. I could have done long reaction fire, but... Would have been left in the open. And would have taken a long time to get to where we need to go, so... Not that much of a fan of that idea. And let's get our specialist over in this general direction. Um, I am the sky. I want you over here a bit. Get a bit of vision over here, and if the drone moves somewhere weird, we don't lose our shinobi stealth. The drone... oh, these are this, these threes. We're going to find out in a moment if the drone's going to give us a bad day. Two troopers and a grenadier isn't too bad to deal with, though. Oh, another drone. That's probably all the drones on the map. Enemy patrol on the move. Probably. And it turns out we're lucky this time. Enemy patrol approaches. Okay. So we've seen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven enemies. There could be up to five more that we don't know about yet. Um, I don't want to fight this turn. I would want Boovim to move up and flank, and we'll probably get spotted by something else. Ideally, we get these three to walk into a flamethrower ambush. If I leave Rorosaur where where he is, that is possible. But judging by the direction this uh, leader, the Grenadier, is pointing, I think they're going to wa uh, walk over this way. Jankobek has nothing to do except uh, Overwatch right now, because he can't move. I don't think there's a universe where I'd want him to take two shots against enemies that are in cover. Instead, he's not the right spec for that anyway. So we'll start with that. Um, I might want to get I Am The Sky up here. That's probably a little bit too ambitious at the moment. But we can at least have a peek over this way. And... See what we can find. Actually, I think uh, it's a little risky, but we've seen the two drones over to the left side. On the move. I think it would probably be a good idea to get Sky on the roof. Fantastic. Now we know that whole roof is uh, enemy free. Probably be a good idea to get up on that roof uh, if we could potentially ambush further into the map, but I think that's a little bit too ambitious. Let's move Boovim over here. Overwatch. I want Stardust up here-ish. Probably. And Lightning. Our Specialist can go... Over here, we're not going to get reaction fire this turn. Will do. And Rorosaur? Uh, I guess since uh, Jakubek is sitting there, if they did walk this way, I guess there's a small chance that we'll get a good flamethrower if we stay in place. And I don't see any particularly good places to move Rorosaur to. I would have to give up a reaction shot if I move here, and it'd still be too far away to use the flamethrower, so we'll just overwatch. They are walking exactly where we thought they would. And it looks like they're going to keep going that way. 
That drone barely moved for some reason. I think I don't have... Yeah, I don't have Steady Weapon on Stardust this time. We got Laser Sight, Hair Trigger, Auto Loader. Oh, 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 Stardust already has a uh, Cool Under Pressure. And with Long Watch. That's actually really good. Alright, let's get you overwatching already. Um, Boovim. Mm, let's see. I want to get a peek at what's over here, but I don't have a good way to do it. Let's get Sky to have a look over this way. And... Like so. We find something. Looks like hostiles over here. I don't want to say that's what I want to see, but that's the information that I needed. So we've actually got double grenadier flamethrower in this squad. That is kind of terrifying. Uh, let's move Morosaur over this way. That door's open. We'll be able to get through with stealth next turn. Boovim, I think I want you to move up as well. We'll have our specialist on double reaction fire. I could shut down the drone, but what would that accomplish? It's also a risk. Uh, I think we'll move our specialist up a bit as well, though. I want everyone getting closer to the objective. These guys are doing a pretty good job of preventing us from moving properly. Um, I might just put Jacobek here... And there's, there's a bit of a risk of that drone turning around and revealing him, but we'll get a bunch of reaction shots on these guys if that can, if that happens. And I don't think the squad up here is gonna is gonna find us this turn. Oh, oh, that was that was close. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Alright. I am the sky. One tile away from being detected. How about you just slink over this way? Um, but before we do... I think I'd like to move a few people up here. I'd like to see what we could hack here. It's probably not going to be any good, but occasionally it is. We get small alloy cache, or PCS, risking reinforcements if we fail. Definitely want to attempt that before we leave. Um, Stardust. I think I'm going to want you to just stay on Overwatch over here until you really need to move up. On Overwatch. Uh, Boovim, probably... Well, where's Rorosaur? How close can I get Rorosaur? Probably shouldn't have put him here. Glass is in the way. Can't get him that far anyway. I'd like to get Rorosaur close to ambush these guys, but that drone is a real problem. Maybe I should attempt hacking it. If it's a hundred percent to shut down, I don't think it can... I don't think the variance can go that high, but... Let's have a look. 78, that is terrible. May as well go for control with risks like that. Uh, no you're not. Um, but yeah, I would like to just sort of slink past these guys, if at all possible. Sky, have a peek down here. 
So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I think maybe nine, ten, but it's probably part of the same pod that we've already seen. Could get up on the roof, that's pretty risky. Uh, everywhere is risky at the moment for I Am The Sky, but it's a different risk. I think we'll just stay here and overwatch. Roger. I got my eyes on. Let's move Buvim up to the heavy ahead. cover. Jack Quebec up to the light cover. Over here, perhaps? At least if there's something over there, we'll find out. I'm all over it. Um... Buvim's got kind of a short-range weapon. I don't think reaction fire here is going to be particularly valuable. If I go over here, we lose line of sight to the drone. Well, then maybe it just walks right into us. Uh, I want to lose line of sight to these guys as well. I am the sky can't see them at the moment. So unless they walk exactly down here, which could happen... Uh, we probably won't see them next turn. Let's have our specialist overwatch. And that just leaves Rorosaur. Do I really need to move up further? Got it covered. And move him. I want to move you up more, but all the cover sucks. Uh, we'll try and... Hmm. It's pretty risky either way. Actually, you'll have a lot of options for grapple from this spot. So I think I'll leave you there on Overwatch. Alright, that's really good news. Worst case now isn't too bad. And those guys effectively disappear entirely. Right before we get spotted. That's kind of great, actually. One down. Two down. Three down. Nice. Gotta go. Have a nice stream. Take care, Kuhn. Thanks for hanging out. Alright, so the only visible enemy left is... Uh, the one purifier who we can easily get a flank shot on. Uh, we need to deal 9 damage in one shot to kill him outright though. Which can definitely happen with our uh, with our mag rifle. We could try that from the heavy cover. If at all possible I'd like to get line of sight on any enemies that we might wake up with that first. And it looks like we've got a pretty lucky angle to be able to move up I Am The Sky here. Have a peek through this window, still be able to go up the roof. We see nothing. Uh, I might get Stardust on Reaction Fire. It's only a 70% to hit the Purifier. If we spot someone over here, they'll get sniped at. We fail to kill this thing, though, and Jacobek is this close. Uh, he's going to get flamed next turn. I could have I Am The Sky command him so he can move away again. Um, alternatively... Oh, we can get Boovim to take, like, a free shot at this guy with uh, Hit and Run. It's not going to be ideal range, to say the least. Actually, I'm pretty scared to move over here even a single tile, because we know there's like... Three... Three enemies plus a drone just over here somewhere. We do not want to wake them up right now. Even this is a little risky. I could command Jacobek to fire twice. Okay, what are our odds here? 
I think if we go close, we might get a weapon range bonus a little bit. But suffice to say, 34 plus 45, uh, it's like 80%. Mm, we've got a decent chance, but it could certainly be better. Let's have a look up here. We see nothing. Kind of want Rorosaur to move forward again. Uh, I could command Jakubek to run up point blank. Uh, both barrels this guy, guaranteed kill, but he could explode in his face. I could command him to run here, and then I think it's a guaranteed kill with, where the explosion can't get him. But if something spots us, which is pretty unlikely considering where we've explored, that could be very bad. Can I am the sky see him after he runs to this spot? Yes. I could command him before I move, but it's just easier this way. Okay, I think uh, I think we're gonna do that. All right, so that's our com one command for the mission gone, and we should have a hundred percent here. Both barrels, 8 to 16. It has to be a min roll, non-crit. We've got like a 55% crit. Please don't get literally the worst possible outcome. Fantastic. Did you see that one? And he didn't explode after all. Alright, Boovim, I would like you close enough to grapple. Actually... It should definitely be safe to run here. We may as well pick this up. As long as we don't spot these guys over here. Fantastic. Iron skin. That's not that great. It's not bad either. Uh, and I think we'll move our... Well... I could rocket this open to get straight in next turn. So I might leave Rorosaur where he is. Overwatch. Overwatch. And we'll move our specialist up well to the heavy done. cover. And that's the turn. And we don't see anything. I kind of wanted... I, I was kind of hoping we would see something to get a reaction shot out of uh, Stardust. And we're at the point where I really have to start to think about moving Stardust up. Question is, how much do we value one more turn of maybe getting a snipe from there? Let's see if we can take a peek over here first. Hope everything's going well. I am the Sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Uh, it is actually going pretty well so far. Um, so how many enemies have we killed? It was three, four, right? And there's one, two, three, four over here. And there could be another four somewhere else. So we still have to be a bit careful. Um, do I really want to rocket just to open this up? I could, I could reaction fire Stardust, rocket here, we can go straight in through the wall. And there's a small chance that we just kill an enemy or two that happens to be in this area. We've been having trouble getting Vorosaur into position, and we're all revealed already. So I think this actually makes a ton of sense. How far can I Am The Sky go? Can probably get into flesh something if we find anyone. 
if we do rocket though, like the whole map is going to be running to this area. Maybe that's a slight exaggeration, but it is pretty loud. I think I'll move Rorosaur up to here oh. instead. We didn't find anything. Okay. So I think we'll get everyone in position to go in next turn, basically. Good to go. Move in. Um, how about over here? We also get further away from these other guys that we probably don't want to bother fighting. Definitely don't want to fight them at the same time as a bunch of other stuff. Seems doable. On Overwatch. And that just leaves... I think we will one more turn long watch with our sniper. Let's get... Eye in the sky down here. And we see nothing. And we don't hear anything either. Alright then. Let's have a peek with Boovim through the wall. Literally nothing. Okay. Kind of spooky. Let's have a look in this general direction. Moving to position. We still see nothing. Oh. Wow, that was shockingly close. Uh, so it was a sectoid, and I think I saw there was w at least one other enemy here. Doesn't necessarily mean that's the whole pod, though. Uh, did we already overwatch with Stardust? We did not. I think we want to get Stardust out of here now. Move, move, move. Too far behind. And... There's no vision through these walls here, so let's get Boovim nice and close. We've got vision through here, so we know nothing's coming through. Or I could... No, that should be fine. Let's just get Boovim in as far as possible. Rorosaur over here. Specialist. Uh, probably should have put the Specialist there so he has line of sight to hack. But here should be fine as well. And Jakubek. Uh... Jacobek also get inside. Moving out. And we might Overwatch. have a little camping session in here until uh oh. Well that's the worst possible angle they could have picked from our perspective. We don't get any reaction fire either. Uh and the sectoid is on Overwatch. Okay. Well, we can probably just kill the sectoid. Um, its attack is pretty weak. Maximum is 6 damage if we're really unlucky. Which could happen, but... We've got like a 90... About a 90% to just kill him outright. Can we come up with something that doesn't take that risk though? Just rocket this ball. I would have to move... Uh, I would have to move Jakubek first. But we could do that. That might actually be the way to go. Question is where to put Jakubek before we do that. Uh, I definitely want to hack the door this turn. And I definitely want Stardust running up here. So let's do that first, just in case we spot something. We've got all of our actions to try to react to it. Uh, Rorosaur. 
this really is the best rocket we're going to get um, this turn. Oh, this uh, mission. So yeah, uh, let's get Jack a bit. I can't actually run out here first because of the overwatch. I could aid protocol I am the sky before dashing the overwatch um, just to minimize... Do I not have an aim bonus? Oh. Yeah, Jacobek's too close for Lone Wolf. Um, I think we'll just put Jacobek here. I can handle that. And Rorosaur. Please be very careful not to murder I Am The Sky. Plus 0.68 tiles spread. I'm not going to trust that. We're going to be a little more conservative than that. Launch. And a rocket's away. Beautiful. Sidewind is already dead. Uh, I Am The Sky can slicey dice. Uh, our hacker can do a little hacky hack. And I think we'll go for... I don't like the coin flip, let's just go for the small cache. Wow. Well. Still think it was correct. Uh, and then... They are about to get reinforcements. Specialists can see through the door and through over here. And if they come in through that door... I think we will put you on Overwatch. Uh, Boovim, I'd like you somewhere where you're most likely to see the reinforcements. Get an Overwatch shot. Jakubek. Open the door, please. And I, I guess I have to click on that one to open that door. VIP can already get out, actually. That's fantastic. Best rocket of the campaign. And let's put Jack... I don't know, should I close this door? It's possible the group that was over here comes just close enough. How do I close that door now? Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. I guess it's possible that this group just barely catches a peek at Jakubek through here. And we don't want to fight them and the reinforcements next turn. They are dropping... a mech and a trooper. Can't quite tell where they are. Oh, they're way over to the left. Oh, wow, that's... Um... Apparently we did still have line of sight over there, so closing the door was actually sort of counterproductive. Because I and the sky could see it. No, if there's something here, we would have got seen a bit earlier. Okay, can we all get out already? Stardust, definitely not. Um, it might even take two turns. It probably will take two more turns to get Stardust right out of there. here. Uh, so we do need to kill this stuff. I'm very tempted to open the door. I, I think we have to. That door. This door. Alright, we don't see them. That's good. We can pretty easily kill this. Trooper is 73%. Uh, we've even got armor piercing. We could one-shot the mech if we're lucky. Um, but who's going to kill the trooper? Rosso is too slow, too far away to flamethrower. Um, I could obviously slash him with I Am The Sky, but I'm scared of waking up this group over here. 
move him. Can't quite get a flank unless... I think what we're going to do is grapple over here, drop down, get a flank. Sh oh no, flank would have to be way over here. Um, that's not a flank through that window, weirdly enough. Actually, I'm not sure why it's not a flank from this position. That is very weird. I could just blue move him right over here. And it's a similar move to cutting him with I'm the sky, but at least boo him can just walk away from it. And we're also slightly less close. Uh, slightly less chance of waking up that other group. Alright, let's see what kind of damage we get on the mech. One hit point remains. If that was an outright kill, I could just try for the 73% here. Um, we've got an 82 or better from our specialist. Rorosaur can probably hit it. Rorosaur's got really good aim. Except we don't have angle. It should be safe to go in here, though, as long as we clear this out. Okay. Rorosaur, if you please, finish off mech. And then... Jakubek has a, 77, a 73 to kill this guy without us having to potentially expose ourselves. Very nice. Now, could I get someone to close that door? If you say so. Nice. That is really going to minimize uh, the chances that we have to fight something next turn. Boovim, uh, probably get you up here. So that you have a chance for some flanking shenanigans if we do find some enemies soon. Uh, let's get our specialist over here. I want to try to hack this before we finish the mission. And that's the turn. And we see and hear nothing. Never mind. Okay. Uh, Stardust is one tile short of being able to get out this turn. That's unfortunate. So I guess we'll just move you up, Overwatch. Uh, hack this. Actually, probably overwatch and then hack and then leave next turn. I'm on it. I am the sky. Over here, please. Check your back. You're going to have to oh, reload, yeah. which means you get no overwatch this turn with uh, dashing. So how about you just park yourself Back's over moving. here? Boovim can probably stay there. Order and Rorosaur. Doesn't really matter. Okay, Just go over gone. here. Alright. And that's the mission. Hacking in. Let's see if we can get ourselves some alloys. Fantastic. I'm in. And in I we go. Whatever you say. On my way. Solid copy. I'm trusting you here. Agreed. And we're out. I'm gone. Mission 
Mission accomplished. Fantastic. 8 out of 12 enemies killed. 8 out of 12. I think the 12 includes the reinforcements. So we only had 10 enemies on the map. That's actually the minimum. And the four enemies that we saw that we avoided. Yeah, we actually saw everything. Okay, we got at least one promotion. Uh, three actually, that's good. Aurora Saw, I Am The Sky, and Jakobek. We also got an Iron Skin PCS. Might be good on a Shinobi or something. Alright, Jakobek. Uh, I really want to get you Predator. But first, before we spend 30 points, most of which is going to be from the common skill pool, uh, we're going to want to get you rapid reaction, up to three reaction shots, as long as they don't miss. Uh, so that'll do for now, I guess. Rorosaur. Uh, Tandem Warheads, fantastic. I'm really looking forward to Javelin Rockets here. We can shoot beyond visual range. But Tandem Warheads, also very, very good. It uh, doesn't matter if you just barely hit something with a rocket, it'll still do full damage. And we've got 8 AP at the moment. I'm not that excited about your extra skills. Well, actually, you've got light em up already and return fire. I'm excited about that, just there isn't really anything else left um, that I'm terribly excited about. Um, and I am the sky. We've got dedication, plus two movements, and ignore reaction fire for the rest of the turn. That would have been very useful. Definitely want to get you that. Locked on? I don't... Oh, right. We're going to go with hit and run. Yeah, that makes sense. But for now, it'll be cutthroat, plus two crit damage with swords, plus 15 crit chance, and ignore armor on bio enemies. Um, I could already take locked on, but it wouldn't actually be any good unless uh, until we get hit and run. Like, unless you happen to start... Um... Well, no, you don't have, like, light them up, so this is the only way you're getting two standard shots in one turn. Um, so locked on literally won't do anything until, until we get you hit and run. So I should probably, like, reorder these priorities. Okay. Is that all the promotions? Yes, it is. What was that? View photos. Fantastic. Mobile armor's coming in in five days. We got 14 hours until we may have to deal with an ambush. Uh, literally everyone... Well, not literally everyone. Lots of people are available for that. We've also got a squad infiltrating still. Someone already training in here. Um, now would be the perfect time, or would it, to fix I Am The Sky's little uh, negative trait. Cautious is way more of a problem. There isn't a single turn where this might not trigger if I do a blue move with Midden. So I wouldn't even want to take Midden on a mission while well, they've got that, so we'll definitely pop them into the infirmary to get that sorted out. Um, how long does this take? 
can't really tell. I may have clicked past it. I don't know if putting a scientist in would speed it up is the thing. I don't think we really need to. We've got practically no supplies, lots of income, five... Uh, at least five days until pickup. Oh, here we go. Scilab is coming in in five days, Proving Ground as well, Defense Matrix as well. Supply drop in nine days. All right, then. Let's have a look at the strategic map. We've got Rescue VIP Grenadier. One day, 11 hours till 100%. Expires in one day, 11 hours. Uh, Tumbles, Glacier Wolf, Sloder, Orpheus, Sigma Bean, Mannequin. Good squad. I hope we don't have to deal with up to 12 enemies on that one. Is that our only infiltration right now? It looks like it is. Me, these Templars are just as crazy as my brother. What is it about and... that seems to drive them so completely mad? I guess it wouldn't hurt to go for build faster at the moment. Actually, no, I really want to have enough intel to boost an infiltration if I have to. At the very least. Did I already set this up? Yes, I did. Let's should probably do more recruiting down here, actually. And... This one's fine. This one's... Fine, I guess. All right, give me some intel. Our cooperation has no ambush. To the resistance. Larius and Crimson get some XP. Some new intel on the chosen, Commander. Step one of three for Slowly, finding that chosen is done. There's no, there's no need to rush at this point. Because the third mission for it requires three max level soldiers, if I recall correctly. That's going to take a while. We can get an engineer. Probably shouldn't turn that down. Um, are there things we can't build because we don't have enough engineers? Neuro whip. Considering we're building a Scilab, I should probably do something about that. That seems to be the only... We don't even have four engineers, actually. I can't make an advanced grenade launcher. So we might want to grab that. I've been digging through some of the old data files Central has been holding on What's competing with it? Resistance mech is very good. Ability points I try never to miss. Everything else is not that high a priority right now. I think we should just go straight for Recruit Engineer. But first we've got some promotions to deal with. Or at least one, anyway. Larius is now going to have Cheap Shot. Once per turn, gave him a, uh, gain a movement action after shooting with your primary weapon at a unit a unit that was already damaged this turn. Can't trigger on the same turn as knife encounters. I kind of really like knife encounters, but on a good shooter, banish is just compulsory. Blue screen knives, plus two pierce, disorient robots, that's not that great. Rapid deployment is not very good compared to cheap shot. Pretty easy choice, I would say. I definitely want to get Rapid Reaction eventually. Um, but I think... I could even skip Cheap Shot and get Rapid Reaction instead. That'd be kind of crazy. Your mobility is decent. Aim is incredible. Uh, 
Um, it's a movement only action after shooting an enemy that's been hit. That's pretty specific. I think we'll put that one off and we'll get rapid reaction instead for now. Rapid reaction on someone with incredibly good aim. That's just really, really good. Evil Pla, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so we want to grab an engineer. Uh, I think I would like to send Larius. Have I given him decent armor and stuff? Laser vector rifle. I don't suppose we can afford... Commander. The upgraded rifle for him yet. That looks like a no. Do we have the technology? I'm pretty sure we do, yeah. Temnotic rifle. 50 supplies. Ouch. Um, that'll have to wait a little bit. Okay, Larius... Um, Uvim and Crimson? Don't see why not. I need to give you some proper armor, though. Can we afford it right now? Hello, Commander. 21 supplies. I'm pretty sure it takes 30. Yeah, it's 30. I just have to hope you don't need it yet. Alright. We'll send our three heroes. Failure 16% though. Well, good luck. Bring us back an engineer in five days, please. And we'll grab some more intel. Mission is ready to go. Zero hours left. Extremely light. Fantastic. It does have faceless infiltrators. Because of that one mission we couldn't win. Civilians... We basically have to assume every civilian is a faceless until proven otherwise. Okay. Spokesman just sent word of a friendly VIP recently captured by Advent who's being moved through this area on one of their transport vehicles. We're heading in to get a drop on the transport and free that Let's captive. see what we've got. Expect hostile resistance. Secure the area and clear out anyone who's standing in your way. We've got six people versus up to nine enemies. But Most we've got the faceless to deal with. Evac is very, very close, it looks like, to the cart. We can probably get the VIP out in one uh, turn. Let's see how we're going to go about doing it. I can get Morpheus on a roof immediately. That's probably going to be fantastic. Let's park Mannequin over here. And then Blue moves someone else up. Tumbling Satellite has Fear of Chosen. That's completely irrelevant on this mission. There's no chance of seeing Chosen here, thankfully. Okay, Sloder. Probably park yourself over there. And this should be Got fine. Moving. Morpheus. Up onto Over this here. roof, please. And Glacier Wolf. Beep, this should beep. do. Sigma Bean. 
maybe maybe over here and mannequin in case there's a drone over that way I'd like you to sit still scanning covering now I hear footsteps we see snack oh double snack berserker interesting not too difficult to kill kind of dangerous we could try to rocket it but tumbling doesn't have good rocket aim um i could get morpheus up on this roof and steady weapon next turn i want to get eyes on all three of them with someone who's not going to be running up onto that roof. Let's try with tumbles. Perfect. Let's get Sloda up here. I think we probably should go for the early ambush. We're, we're going to have to deal with them sooner or later. And are those snipey snakes? I definitely want to get right in their faces. Uh, yeah, let's get Morpheus up to this good sniping spot. Mannequin, have a look over here. See nothing. Tumbles, if we're very lucky. Could get a triple flamethrower hit next turn. Can't quite see... whether or not these guys can move indoors. They can't. So this should be safe. Glacier Wolf. Roger that. Over here, please. Overwatching. And that just leaves Bean, who's not much of a shooter. Uh, you can just go over here. That's affirmative. Oh. Is that another Berserker? Well... It's not much of a threat way over there. Eyes on the prize. Um, and Mannequin... Probably over here. We see nothing. Maintaining position. They're walking away. That's actually a little bit annoying. Oh, they're all coming together. And there's a mech, and I think two other things in that group. If we're very lucky, we could end up rocketing all of them. But we can't spend too much time trying to get the perfect ambush. Uh, I could get tumbles up on this little roof, which is probably a good idea, to be honest. He could get himself flanked, theoretically, but I don't think they're coming back this time. Sloda. I think I want you in a similar spot. Oh, what do we have here? I feel like that civilian is a faceless. Uh, so we got mech. Uh, Sergeant and Berserker. What kind of shots does Morpheus have even without the steady weapon? All 100%. Zero grays. Just different amounts of crit. Not bad. And you don't even have a proper aim bonus from Lone Wolf yet. It's only a laser rifle, though. And the enemy has a few more hit points than I am entirely comfortable with. I'm all over it. Let's get Sigma Bean front and center where he can potentially tank the uh, Berserkers. Aye, aye. He's got... Uh, combatives to deflect their shots, and if they somehow hit him, he's actually got 
negative three damage as well. Do we have anything we can hack? We do. It's only 61% to shut down the advent, uh, the advent mech, though. That's actually Let's pretty terrible. I really need a plus hacking PCS on Sigma. 69% is the actual number. Let's get it. Uh, but if we do shut it down, uh, it'll take damage when it wakes up as well. Moving on target location. The uh, stutter mag is nothing to sneeze at. We should try, it, try and get it at point blank if we can. Map alert isn't much of a negative. If we fail, large intel cache is huge. Targeting, I think it just gives the one soldier an aim bonus. 20 aim and 20 crit for, for 8 turns. That's pretty nice. But not that big of a deal, relatively. On a start of it. it would put Sigma's aim up to 92. That is nothing to sneeze at. Let's put Mannequin up here. And I'd love to move up a little bit more to see if there's anything over here, but the angles are not so good if a drone comes this way. Um, I kind of want Mannequin in range to potentially flesh next turn. But it's all a bit risky. Let's just bring Mannequin way back over here. And that's our turn. I think that's the squad protecting the uh, truck. Could be wrong. Oh, now they're coming back? They didn't quite flank us, at least. And now they're going to walk out of line of sight. Okay. Well, that means we can indeed ambush these guys. Not with a flamethrower, though. I don't think we have any AoE other than the flamethrower, unless you count rocket, which might actually be the way to go. Uh, we don't want to use rocket around the truck, especially since Tumbles doesn't have the perk to shoot rockets more accurately. Tumbles isn't going to do much... Uh, well, like after ambushing, if he doesn't do the ambush, the only thing is he's likely to do is flamethrower one enemy, maybe two if we're very lucky. He does have a chance to panic them, even if they don't get set on fire. But even weighing that against everything else, I think the rocket launch is probably the better way to go. It's also going to wake up these guys and send them over to us. Um, they might run in and get free shots because they're already alerted by the sound. But I do have some some stuff to deal with that. I could even smoke here. Morpheus now has steady aim as well. You can probably wait till they're under cover and still hit them. I could use Sigma Bean for an AoE attack. Only 2 to 4 damage, though. It does reduce their mobility. But no, I don't think that's impactful enough. Okay, so who do I want to put on Reaction Fire? Normally I would say Sloder, but Sloder's going to get two shots and we've got a lot of hit points to chew through with the Berserker. On the other hand, I could put Glacier Wolf in front of the Berserker, which will make it waste its turn next time. Um, and I really want to hit these snakes. The snakes are going to run to cover, though. If I do Overwatch, we also get a uh, deep cover for Sloder. Glacier Wolf can do a guaranteed hit as well with a Mag Cannon. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think... I think we maybe take one reaction shot. No, I think we take no reaction shot yet with Sloder. Rocket these guys, see where they go. We'll probably use Sloder to reaction fire against the enemies that are more than likely going to run in next turn. So, rockets away. That was incredibly weak. If I'd known it was going to be like that, I would have used Sigma Bean's little AoE. That's actually shockingly bad. I don't know why the uh, Berserker hasn't moved yet. I can double 100% him for minimum 8 damage. Maximum 14. How's our snipe look? 100%, 100%. We can guaranteed kill the Naja with that. I think we probably will. And we'll get an action back with death from above. So we can steady for next turn as well. Morpheus, if you please. Execute Snack. Fantastic. Uh, Sloda. He'll probably walk right up to this thing and just kill it. And Glacier Wolf. If you go closest uh, to the Berserker, you're going to deflect its attack next turn. The only thing I don't like about that is if you move up to that cover, these guys might see you. No, it looks like it's fine. Alright. Glacier Wolf over here. Only 84, but you've got terrible aim. Good at other things, but terrible aim. I forgot we've got a laser rifle here, so that's actually 4 to 7 damage. Uh, I could potentially kill the Berserker with both barrels, but I'd be stuck in the open. I think we'll just go over here. Probably one hit the snake. If we don't... I mean, I could use... Uh, point blank, but I don't want to waste it on this. If we don't kill the snake, uh, because it's a snipey snake and it's flanked, it won't do anything useful. It'll run. You want some more? Fantastic. Alright, I don't want to waste my guaranteed hit against an 84%. So we'll just go with that. With Glacier, 10 damage. Fantastic. And then... I could try... Okay, what's the penalty of failing this hack? Supercharge. I think it gives it aim and defense, or is it aim and mobility? Aim and defense. I don't think... It's going to be less than 100% for Morpheus to shoot it next turn. Um... So I think we should probably try that hack. And we'll move Sigma further away. So there's a good chance that they don't even find us next turn. Grab that bot. Alternatively, I could try controlling it. Um, the chance is way too low though. But even if it was like 50%, or if we did control it, I think that mech's going to die in one turn anyway, and it's probably not worth, like, waking up the enemies. Looks like it would have been close. Alright, so that mech is asleep for, I believe, one turn, and I think it takes four damage when it wakes up. Morpheus should be able to execute it after this. And I would like Mannequin to keep an eye on these guys. Preferably closer, but don't get caught. I think this is a little bit too risky, especially because that could be a faceless. So I'll probably just keep Mannequin right here. Alright, here come. Oh shit. That would hurt a little. Okay. It did not go for our tank. That could have been worse, though. 
We are stunned, however. Morpheus, I think I would like you to snipe one of these guys while they are still flanked. And we'll see where they move before we make other decisions. Oh, min da minimum damage, I think that was. That is not helpful. But they don't know where we are, at least. Uh, Sigma Bean, I would like you to move over here and shoot this guy. And be ready to heal as well. 4 to 7 damage. Very nice. We can guarantee uh, getting two shots with... Oh, wait. With Sloda, who's the one who's over here stunned, actually. Uh, combat knife, 2 to 4 damage. That's not going to cut it. Tumbling Satellite, could you perhaps murder this thing so that Glacier Wolf could have Reaction Fire? As inaccurate as that is likely to be. We'll also move you a bit further away from this lot, so we maybe get one more turn where they can't see us. Three to six. Don't mineral. Perfect. Oh, and everyone gets a uh, combat rush now. Except for Morpheus, but that's fine. What does combat rush do again, exactly? Plus 10 aim, crit, and 1 mobility. That's actually really, really good. Okay, I'd like to move Mannequin back a bit. So you definitely don't get revealed this turn. Actually, I think I'd like to have a peek over here. Oh. Can't go as far as I hoped. This is probably fine. And Glacier... Probably stay right where you are, actually. Wait, no, you can already see the Berserker. Okay. Um, that changes things a little bit. 86%. I think I should just take it. Except the officer... Well, not officer, the sergeant. It's probably... Uh, might move in range to take a shot. That's probably fine. I could even smoke as well. And take a shot. Only four damage, at least it's not nothing. Here comes a gunner, rocketeer. And they see us, and they were running, they might get a shot. Good thing we smoked. Especially since we're in low cover. Uh, well, he's very flanked. Trojan virus actually dealt six damage? What the hell was that about? What? What? Wait, what? Blind rage? They're moving around the side. I thought they'd just go faster if you hurt them. Um, okay. That... That problem solved itself. I can guaranteed kill the sergeant with hail of bullets. I will most likely do that. And before we do, let's get rid of this Overwatch. It's... There's a decent chance of a one-hit kill if we crit. But we're not going to bet on it. He's left on one health. We can actually ping him with... Uh... Well, I was going to say we could ping him with combat protocol. But we can guaranteed kill the mech with combat protocol, so I really don't want to have to do that. I would also like to heal Sloda. So, probably going to heal and kill mech. 
which leaves two problems, well, three problems actually. We just can't see one of them at the moment. Um, we want to kill this guy, this guy, and we need someone who can tank the uh, Berserker front and center. I think we'll move Glacier Wolf to the heavy cover here. Might see something up ahead, probably not. And 49%, I don't think so. 100%, yes, please. Hail of bullets for the win. I could use tumbling to get a ping on this guy, I think. Maybe, I could be wrong. We also have a flank shot if the roust doesn't reach. No, nope, we can we can kill him this way. Definitely going for the guarantee there. Against a rocketeer. Sigma Bean, if you please, heal slowed up. I hadn't even considered what to do with Sloder this turn, really. Positioning's not great. Probably just run him up for an overwatch somewhere. Like, right where uh, Glacier Wolf was last turn. And Sigma, if you please, delete mech. Fantastic. Let's move up Mannequin and see if we find anything else. Not yet. There's a small chance the Berserker sees Mannequin, like, next turn, if I put him here, but that's probably fine. And all that's left now is to reposition Sloder. Uh, I think we'll put him... ...up here in the smoke and heavy cover. Get a reaction shot. Oh! Both of them? No? Are we good? Oh, please go f Yes, yes, please go for... Mannequin. With the combatives. Oh, it doesn't get an action yet. I thought it would. Okay. Um, I guess we're gonna slicey dice faceless. Maybe not, actually. We're definitely going to... Ooh. I was going to say we're definitely going to poke Berserker at least once, but actually we need to reload on Glacier Wolf. I think we'll reload and shoot Faceless. And we can counter hit the Berserker again. That's assuming that we can't uh, easily kill it this turn. Morpheus has no shot. I'll probably want him to steady weapon unless we desperately need plus 10 aim for someone to get a guaranteed finish on one of these guys. I think the time has probably come to use... both barrels, maybe? 14 damage minimum, unless we graze. And that frees up a lot of actions for other people. We got a 76 to potentially one-shot the Faceless. That's probably like a 40% chance. I kind of want to know this outcome first. Seven isn't bad. Oh, I think it was actually a min roll, but... I mean, it's a hit. It's a, it's a solid hit. I'm not complaining. Um, can Sigma Bean do anything... Not really too worried about cover oh, no. at this point. 100% Berserker, 81 Faceless. Uh, 4 to 7. Let's call it uh, 4 to 9 on Berserker. So 9 damage remaining still. Wait, Sloder has a 100% to kill this thing. 
Let's do that. Sigma, shoot the Berserker, please. Sloder, potentially finish off Berserker. And I guess Tumbles finish off Berserker. Except I'd have to leave you in the open to do that. Let's just get you over... What are your... What's your aim? 66. How much plus aim can I get from the weapon? We've already got plus 10. I don't know how much better it gets. Plus 25? Oh, this is that scenario that I was talking about. We might just hollow target. I don't really want to come back and slice this with mannequin. Then again, maybe I should. I think I should open this door instead, though. Except if I get uh, Sigma Bean to hack it, um, we have a better chance at a reward. If I peek over here and find something this turn, I can't really do anything about it. I think I'd rather steady weapon... Oh, you're going to be in the open if I do this as well. Okay. Alright, tumbles. What kind of odds do you have here? Oh, it's actually 100%. Never mind. Fantastic. Steady weapon. And... I think from here we'll just overwatch. I hear footsteps. I think they're running around over this way somewhere. Who do I move first to look for them? That's actually a pretty good question. Also, what kind of angles do we have? Pretty much from anywhere I can get Sigma Bean to hack the... Uh, the door. Um, I think I would like... Mannequin to go somewhere where he could potentially flesh and potentially hide behind the vehicle. So let's have a peek over here. We see nothing. That's actually, in a way, kind of bad. Alright, can I get Sigma Bean to hack this with a blue move? Um, not quite, I don't think... Um, I don't want Sigma to get flanked if there's something over here. I thought I heard the footsteps in this general direction. Hmm. Alright, Satellite, could you just pick this up, please? And have a peek over here. Sigma should be safe to go about here. I actually want you closer to the evac if I can. Oh, we got to assume those civilians are faceless. I think they would have... One of them at least would have woken up by now if that was the case. Probably. Can we park Sigma here and see the hack we can... Fantastic. Morpheus has terrible mobility. Reinforcements are on the way. I really don't want to end up having to protect Morpheus for too long. Let's move Sloda up here. Glacier Wolf. Probably about here. 
Come get some. Mannequin, how about you come back here and hide behind the truck again? And Morpheus, sprint up this way. Okay, surely we hear or see them, no? Uh, alright, let's hack the objective. Attempting infiltration. We really need this. 52% Sigma Bean, please get better at hacking. No! Ugh. That is such an important role. Well, okay. I guess now we do our best not to get spotted. Open the door. I actually have to physically go in here to wake up the VIP. That really sucks. I kind of don't want to do it this turn, but it's one more tile. Yeah, we're actually fine. Alright, fridge. Off you go. Looks like we don't have enemies over here. Uh, Tumbles can already get out. Sloder cannot quite get out. Let's park you over here. here I come. Scanning. Glacier Wolf needs to get a lot closer. So probably like here. Double time. Morpheus is going to be our main bottleneck for getting out of this mess. Um, I guess I'll move tumbles just to get out of the way. Sigma Bean probably needs to move up. Is it clear? Those are definitely not faceless. And Morpheus up as far as he can, if you please. That's weird. It felt like it skipped the enemy turn. Alright, Mannequin can obviously run out. Tumbles can run out. Sloda, Glacier Wolf. Sigma Bean needs to get one tile closer. And Morpheus is going to need to sprint for a couple of turns. Alright. We're just going to overwatch and then get out of here. And we see nothing. Okay. Uh, Morpheus isn't going to take a shot this turn no matter what, so let's move you first. Looks like we can get everyone out without getting spotted. Probably. Moving out. Je confirme la position. Ready to boogie. Move, move, move. Dashing. And Sigma Bean. Beautiful. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. And we get plus two ability points because of the faceless. Uh, it looks like there was only one enemy. If if we got a bonus faceless and we killed nine. No, it says we killed everything, but I heard footsteps. What? Oh, it wasn't flawless either because of that uh, melee attack that didn't go after our tank. We must never allow these dissidents to fill our hearts with fear. Their victory today is a minor footnote in history. I guess a if I'd got uh... of salvation, well, no. I was going to say, if I got Glacier Wolf flanked in order to tank the Berserk, um, we could have avoided that wound, but then literally the same turn or the next turn Glacier Wolf got 
uh, shot at after we used smoke. So it was just as well. Alright, slowed is out for 22 days unless... Unless we put a scientist in here. What are we researching right now? Mobile armor. I kind of want that as soon as possible. We'll wait a little while before we get a scientist in the infirmary. Um, but yeah, we'll give you grazing attacks. 50% chance to at least get a graze, no matter how difficult the shot is. And we've also got a new grenadier. What kind of stats have you got? If we load you up with grins, you have 12 mobility. That's not great. Lots of health. Uh, okay aim. Bad dodge. Ever vigilant. Return fire. It's not great on a grenadier. Yeah, I don't really see anything particularly interesting here. I might just make the opposite of what we've already got in terms of grenadiers. So we've got... Uh, Needle grenades, boosted cores, tandem warheads. Uh, this is basically for just dropping grenades right onto enemy troops and still getting loot and dealing maximum damage. Uh, I think for this grenadier, we'll go for sapper, destroy cover objects more easily. Um, I don't think I want to go for the utility grenades though, or center mass for that matter. You've got plenty of health, I don't really see the need for formidable. Flashbangs disorient robots and make them easy to hack. I think boosted cores is still the way to go. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go more all in on destroying cover, shredding armor, that kind of thing. Maybe chain shot because your aim is decent. We'll see. Probably volatile mix. This one's kind of a tricky choice, actually. These are all good. Bigger AoE, more range on your grenades, or potentially shoot two grenades in one turn is probably going to be that one. And combat engineer for maximum leveling of cover. Could potentially take Ever Vigilant because why not? I don't see that much value in the rest of these. Alright, so that's all of our promotions. Uh, and I think that's all of our active missions except for the Covert Ring. And we get rookies. Avenger plotting new course. That's actually potentially very good, considering we're about to have our Scilab. Commander. The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to... And Sheepsamer has incoming. Fantastic. Let's go with... Are you a spy again this time? No, you're sword spec. I don't think we even have any spy shinobis. But I might still want to use a shinobi for that sort of mission. Let's see. Sheep is swords. Midden is swords. Uh, mannequin is also swords. Very swords. And I Am The Sky is going to be a bit of a hybrid with hit and run. 
So we don't have any spies. Maybe I could make one of the new rookies a uh, spy shinobi. Uh, but who do I want to throw into officer training is the question. Also, much longer till midden's done, I wonder. Oh, here we go. Three more days. Alright then. Uh, Mannequin doesn't even have uh, officer training yet, so let's get that done. Maybe a civilian wandering around? What? The footsteps? I don't think it works like that. Alpha Tater? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay. And we're not retraining anyone. Alright, let's continue. Grab our rookies. Target acquired. Six days, 13 hours. Item 31 intel. Intel package light. Uh, oh, hey, we got the rookies. Now I don't have to decide whether to briefly abandon that scan. Let's see what we got. We've got 72 aim, 14 mobility. That would be a good sharpshooter. We've already got, like... We've only really got two because my clat has the worst aim of any sharpshooter in history. Um, I could also... That's decent health. I could also make this a, another ranger. Ren Garajan has a bit better mobility, terrible health, and about the same aim. Uh, we do have... We still only have one really good rookie for... Psy powers. Unfortunate. We do have decent hack on this one. Hmm. Is there anyone I want to train as a spy shinobi? Lots of health, lots of dodge, decent mobility, terrible aim. Uh, I think Kanyakumari Awar would probably make a good spy. We want you mobile, tanky, and not bothering to attack anything because your aim is atrocious. Kanyakumari. Uh, where is it? Kanyakumari, please become Shinobi. And... We're not really hurting for any specific class, except that we don't have a really good hacker. Um, I could potentially train Kali as a hacker, or I think Jake would be a better candidate. I would like them to have decent... Oh wait, no, Jake is the Psy person. Besides which, I would like them to have decent mobility, because I want to give our number one hacker a pistol and red screen rounds. Could I do, like, a shooting and hacking hybrid with a specialist? I don't really think so. I'd have to give up Cool Under Pressure, Threat Assessment, uh, Sentinel, really. Yeah, I don't think a hybrid between those two would be any good. How many specialists do we have? Only two. Okay, we really, really should have another specialist. 
Um, so I think I'll go for... Kali. Kali Rangarajan. Kali. And Specialist. Seems good. Now let's have a look at gearing up this mission. We're getting mobile armor in... 22 hours. That's just long enough to not wait for it, though. Setting course for Sector 16, Indonesia. Sealed armor. They're immune to fire, poison, etc. So, a technical ambush with flames isn't going to do anything. Small town, objective timer 11. Concealed start, evac with flare, 6 days, 11 hours. Hmm. I think we can do this. Let's grab... Probably I am the sky. And did I get rid of your negative trait? I did not. I'll have to have you probably avoid shooting for the most part if we can. Uh, I think once again we might take Stardust. Question, do I have to play XCOM 1 to understand the story of XCOM 2 fully? Not really. I wouldn't say so. I haven't played XCOM 1. Larius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hi, T-Hack Central and friends, indeed. Uh, you just got a uh, rapid reaction, actually, Larius. You'll be react reaction firing up to three times a turn. Um, Alright, how many people can we send on this mission before it's over? If we send five, we have to deal with up to 15 enemies unless we boost it. If we boost it and win, we're only gaining six intel, but we also get intel package. Not to mention the XP and loot uh, from beating the mission. But... I think we should probably go for it. We've got plenty of people at the moment. Thank you. You're welcome. Written inked. Welcome, welcome. Let's go Reaper Larius, indeed. Yeah, you've got like 95 aim. Um, I think we want to take our rocket technical Rorosaur. Since... Uh, Hazards like poison, fire, and ice don't do much of anything. Where's our gunner? Glacier Wolf, despite the low accuracy, was actually extremely useful. Being a tank with one guaranteed hit with hail of bullets. Um... We're soon to have flaming grenades and gas grenades, but we don't yet, so these are actually really weak for where we're up to. So grenadiers are sort of on hold for the moment. If I take Jacobek, we've got like three shooters. I do want to take Sigma Bean for the hacking. Um... I really want to level up Jacobek. So what if we don't take Glacier? Glacier's our only guaranteed hit other than combat protocol, though. Well, not counting our rockets. I think we'll take Jack back out of the picture for this one. And wait, wait, wait. If we do a boost, what do we get? Very light? 
I think I'd rather do 5 versus up to 9 enemies rather than 6 versus up to 12. Reduces the chances of running into a really powerful enemy as well. Okay. Sigma Beam, get some armor on. Stardust, probably just try to avoid being spotted. Um, so it's only three days, 15 hours if we do this with the boost. How long until... Oh, no. XCOM will not be concealed at the start of missions? If I had started that mission just now, this mission wouldn't have had that penalty. Um, I can't remember why I was about to quickly check something before I queue it up as well. Uh. Oh yeah, I was about to check. It's 40 hours until we potentially have an ambush to deal with. Um, do we have people to deal with that if I send everyone? And I think the answer is pretty much yes. But now, now I'm not sure if I want to do it. So we were going to boost intel. We're only going to get the shinobi to have a concealed start if we do this. So missions that would normally be concealed start are not. I think I'll skip this one. Alright, let's finish building all our stuff since it's so close anyway. Oh, we only have the 23 intel as well. I would have had to spend all my last intel to boost that. Defense facility now operational. Fantastic. So it's not quite game over if they attack the Avenger. Open engineer required increases defense turret stats. Um, uh, it's not, there's nothing like hunting the Avenger right now, so that doesn't really do anything. Uh, I didn't have an Avenger, uh, an engineer speeding it up. Ooh, zero hours until both of these are done. Let's go. The proving grounds are ready, Commander. We can build this Finally. Alright, I want alloy plating, I want hazmat vest, I want... Talon rounds? Which one of those again? Bonus crit. Oh yeah, yeah. Bonus crit damage. We put those on crit chance and crit damage. We put those on our reaction fire specialists. Um, red screen rounds. More susceptible to hacking. I'm gonna want that, but not as a at that higher priority. Incendiary grenades and gas grenades are gonna make our our grenadiers a lot scarier. Um. Normally I have the Proving Ground pretty early and don't have any trouble whatsoever keeping up with getting these things done, but for once I actually have to prioritize. Um, and I'm not sure how I want to go about it. We do get another Engineer probably in 28 hours. What's the highest priority though? I think incendiary grenades, and I can't afford to queue up anything else. Alright, let's get our first Psy Soldier trained up. I haven't really played with this at all with Long War of the Chosen, so I'm not sure how it works. Any rookie can be trained as a sci op. Staffing a scientist will decrease training time. I think I remember in the vanilla game, you could just. Even though you had to start with a rookie in here, 
and you typically didn't get it going until quite late in the game, uh, it ended up being OP because you could just shove people in here to train and train and train until they came out really powerful. You didn't have to level them up on missions so much. But I don't think it works that way here. Jake Johnson. Uh, how long are you going to take? Four days? That's it? I'm definitely not taking scientists off of research just to speed that up. Especially if it turns out that um, he can't just train and train and train to get better. We'll see how that goes. I really need supplies. Five days until a supply drop. If I see a mission to get supplies, I'm definitely taking it. Alright, build faster doesn't do anything now. Um, I think we've got one person injured. So heal faster isn't that attractive, even though it is one of our best rangers. Um, so let's gain intel. Setting course for Sector 1, the Arctic. And that's our mobile armor. At least we get one for free. Well, actually, it costs like 50 supplies to do the research. I think it costs uh, 90 hey, Commander. in this version for a spider suit. 70. It's still a lot. They are very good, though. Especially on a sniper. Disassemble. Um... We can't research anything new right now because we don't have supplies. I should... Could you stop? Shen? Are you done? Okay, thank you. Uh, so all we've got right now is breakdown... Which I don't want to do most of the time, but we do have some data pads to crack open. So let's do that. We really need the intel as well. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Actually, since our research is kind of not that big of a priority right now, let's let's get this guy trained up quicker. Why not? Only two days. Oh, and we may as well uh, heal faster. So it's actually only 13 days now. It only added set a, a couple of days from five to the data pad decryption. Uh, new recruit to Haven in East Asia and New Indonesia. Let's go. Recruit one more and then we'll switch to supplies. Uh, new Indonesia. Recruit. And we get an engineer. Fantastic. Alright. I'll have to think about that for a sec, but first... Uh, let's get you to dramatically decrease the project time on the Proving Ground. Fantastic. Alternatively, oh, yeah, I think that's a higher priority. Ooh, ten days to four days, though. Let's just get this done first. It's literally the last thing to clear out. Um, was it Dur Dur Durov? Durov, please get us those 83 supplies a little bit sooner. And then we'll have a couple of engineers to spare. We can improve bond between Buvin and Crimson right now. Might be a good thing to do. Resistance ring has... Uh, zero supply runs. And 
and the chance for an ambush is getting up there. Uh, I think ability points is the most attractive at the moment. And I would like to get the resistance mech, but I really want to see our best soldiers shine sooner rather than later. Uh, so it was Boovum and Crimson that we need to do some bond training. Try putting in some other people. Let's get Eye in the Sky. Um, Jakubek. And... I guess we could also do Larius. Value 3%, I think I can live with that. Alright. Go forth and bring us ability points. Fantastic. Boovim and Crimson are going to increase their bond training. Uh, it actually only takes three days. And they're going to get to be able to give each other an action point. Johan Anderson, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Winning today? Uh, mostly, yes. We've had two near-perfect missions, but uh, the dark events are looking pretty nasty. All right, only one more day, 16 hours, until we get our first Psy soldier. Okay. One day, one hour, we have to do this. Advent Retaliation. Um, which Chosen is this? The Warlock. Okay, I think the Warlock is probably the least scary, to be honest. That's not to say it isn't scary. Want to become banned? Fantastic. Okay. Uh, are we going to pull out any of our Haven advisors? Advisors, maybe. Do I want to? Okay. So these guys aren't back from the covert action for four days. They definitely can't help. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone else can, except for Sloder. I get my first Psy operative in two hours. We might bring them along for a couple of guaranteed hits. And we really don't have anything else pressing to do right now. So there's no reason to delay. Except to wait just a moment until this uh, training is done. Alright, and I'll just double check. So that's our two rookies, I think. Oh, sorry, we've got... Yeah, two rookies available. Niha, Chavan, and Ab Abhinav Patel. Yeah, we can't keep training our our Psy user. We have to throw them into combat before they can get better. So we've got 80, like, Psy power. That sounds like a good start, I guess. Uh, 28 will, 68 aim. I don't really want you shooting, though. Uh, unfortunately, I can't give you a better Psy Amp just yet. But your abilities are Soulfire. It's kind of like a, the fleshy equivalent of Combat Protocol. Ignores Cover and Armor. Mind Merge gives ablative hit points to an ally. Bonus Will and Crit Chance. Kind of ignore that. 
insanity can cause mind control. Also got high combat intelligence, although I don't know... You know who you ask? Psionics could be considered the alien's greatest strength. But now our own Psy operatives can tap into that same power. Okay. Uh, I don't know... Whoa, what? What? Huh? Uh, soldier ability. It looks like we can't get any, like, extra skills on our psyops. So I guess combat intelligence doesn't count for anything on these? Okay. Can we give you a PCS? Nope. I could give you Will. I'm not really going to put it on anyone else. I can't remember if that affects any of your attacks or anything. I think it's only resisting mental attacks. But... We may as well, I suppose. Until I get a Psy upgrade for him. Okay. Now we gear up. Wait, wait, wait. Let's get our Haven visors. All the decent combat ones, so we have those options. This is a quick response mission, so... It doesn't take any time. Oh. Well... We're going to have Freeman there, whether we like it or not. At least he is equipped. Pity we couldn't hold out until we got some good grenades for this. Alright, let's gear it up. Okay. I do want... One shinobi, probably. I definitely want a sharpshooter or two. Stardust and Morpheus. We'll give, uh, let's see. I'll probably give Morpheus the spider suit since his movement is so bad. So down to only 13 mobility now. Uh, I could buff it up to 14 if I take off the ceramic plating. It's kind of risky. What's your dodge? 20? And Stardust is negative 4. I've been riskier with Stardust. Um, do I want to give you any skills before we go? Flashbanger in case you get caught? I kind of want to save up for Lethal and Steady Hands, though. Formidable would be nice. Can't really afford it right now. If I take only one sniper, we're going to give him the mag rifle. Uh, so we've got another five people minimum to pick. Definitely Rorosaur. Um... Probably one grenadier might be a good idea, even if our grenades aren't that good. Yatu-Watu, actually. Uh, I think we have a shard gun for you. That's kind of a big deal. Your mobility sucks, but everything else is good. I think I'll give you the spider suit. That's going to make you a lot more useful as an assault. And... Sigma Bean, of course. Glacier Wolf, I think, yes. 
And where's our other gunner? Oh wait, I wanted to take the Psyop. I really can't decide whether to take two snipers. They're both quite good. But what if we don't get good high ground or something? If we don't get good high ground and we have two snipers, it's going to be bad. I'll take uh, Stardust with the uh, long watch cool under pressure. And let's bring in our Psyop. I also can't bring uh, Buvim and Crimson because they're bond training right now. Do we have enough armor to go around? I think we do. Don't have a good sword. That could be a problem. I definitely want Hail of Bullets. Um, do you have some... I might put some better gear on your gun. I'd like you to have a auto-reloader. And maybe Tumbles? No, Tumbles has Fear of Chosen. We can't do that. Who else had Fear of Chosen? Uh, it would probably be a good idea to remember that. If I look at the infirmary, it, it's only Tumbles that has this trait removal available right now. Well, we're definitely not using Tumbles right now, so let's put him in to get that trait removed. Uh, I think we can take our scientists off this now. Stardust, our uh, Jake Johnson, Midden, what else, who else, Yatuatu, Sigma Beam, and I need some shooters, Rorosaur, um, probably Glacier Wolf, and should we go with our other gunner? The one with Ever Vigilant, most likely, except we don't have two uh, mag cannons. So I'm thinking probably not. We don't have a spare ranger though. Um, hmm, I should probably fill it out with a Grenadier. Shmua. That's four grenades. Not very good grenades, but at least we have a bunch of guaranteed hits. Strip upgrades, I want you to have a... I could go Elite Mag as opposed to Auto Loader. Since we don't have any Codexes to worry about just yet. We haven't killed a Codex yet, have we? I'm pretty sure we haven't. Uh, and then a little bit of aim. Apparently we don't have any available. Just take the advanced suppressor, uh, suppressor then. Alright, you've got only a regular laser sight. How about advanced? Can we get elite? That's fine. Do we have a spare stutter mag? Apparently not. 
I got a Sten Gun at least. I think it's only every other turn that the uh, side people are going to be take, trying to take a shot though. How much more armor do we have flying around? Only one? That's a bit disconcerting. Do we have any scopes? I don't think so. We have four, actually. Let's give everyone just a little bit better aim. And I think Rorosaur already has... It's actually laser sight. Elite hair trigger laser sight? Why do you have reaction fire specialization? Um, let's swap that for the scope. Probably better if someone else has the elite hair trigger. But... I actually don't have a reaction fire special. Oh, yes I do. Yes, we do. But you've already got elite laser sight hair trigger. I think Stardust should probably have the elite mag, actually. Let's swap that out. Elite Expanded Mag. Fantastic. And then... That's pretty much it. I guess it wouldn't hurt to throw auto-loaders. We've got several, right? On these. We're getting them back at the end of this mission anyway. And what else? Probably just like a suppressor or something. We're not going to use a stock on an SMG. Data suppressor is going to make much difference on this mission. Okay. Sigma Bean is still waiting on our plus hacking. Uh, we've got Iron Skin and Hyper Reactive Pupils. Iron Skin wouldn't be the worst idea on Yatuwatu. In case he gets attacked by melee. And hyperreactive pupils is kind of just garbage. We can just sell it. It gives you plus 10 aim after you miss. Prefer to just avoid missing. Probably more than one person. Definitely more than one person should have healing. If we're up against a chosen. Uh, Midden has some ability to spare. I think I'd like you to have some hit points to spare as well, since you're going to be getting in something's face, especially with no good sword. So we've got two whole heals. I don't feel great about that. Can't really afford to do more though. I don't suppose we have armor available for you. We do not. Uh, how about I give you plus two hit points this way then? That'll have to do. Rayclaw, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's -a go. One of our 
marked contacts in the resistance as Advent peacekeepers have been spotted conducting a sweep near an outpost in this area. The aliens won't hesitate to kill anyone they find, so we're heading in to protect as many people as we can. Secure the camp and eliminate all hostile uh -oh. forces. Menace 1 5, hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Hello, T Hex. Hope you're doing well, too. Thank you. Protect those civilians. Advent came in hot and so did we. Okay. We won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Uh, I think this is one of those slightly different Haven missions. Rescue as many rest, uh, rebels as possible. Extract all. I think it's a bit different from the usual long war. Um... Even missions, though? I'm not exactly sure what to expect or how to go about it. Stardust, unfortunately, is not quite behind cover. I would love to have started him on Overwatch. We know there's two more enemies here, but I can't see them. Um, I want to be able to get line of sight on all of them, so I can move everyone properly. But I fear that moving here will get mid and revealed. Been wondering if I should start XCOM Long War of the Chosen or Phoenix Point? I don't know. We didn't see... oh. Mind Merge? Oh, that's just the buff. Um... I think we have to get spotted this turn, but what's the best way to go about it? I could move our tank up to this heavy cover. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure Midden's going to get spotted if I leave him in the open before moving up here. I could put him here. He should hopefully be able to see all three. We can't see. There's like a... I think it's a sectoid commander right here. It's like a double sectoid. But if, if he's a little bit further back than these guys, then... If I try to move up in such a way that we don't aggro them this turn... Um, we probably won't get spotted. We've got almost nowhere we can go, though. Oh. Our Haven advisor is with us. We don't have to go rescue them. Um, that helps. What can I do against double muton sectoid this turn? Not a whole lot. I'd really like to just get everyone in position. So what if I put Rorosaur here? Yatuwatu... Can't even go that far. Theoretically, I could put you here and you wouldn't be seen, but... You might get spotted by the Sectoid. You do have... Oh, you don't have Disorient. You do have a flashbang, though. I think I might take a little risk here. If I get Yatu to move here, either we don't get spotted, or we should be able to flashbang the Sectoid Commander. And do I want to put people in Overwatch before I do that? It's a little risky, to say the least, but I could leave Stardust here on Overwatch. I think I'll probably have to, because, like, there's literally nowhere to move back. Or I could move back here and put you on, like, Pistol Overwatch for one turn. Um, if I put Rorosaur here on Overwatch... We can potentially at least hit one of them if they spot Yatuwatu. Watu. 
I think I want to move Rorosaur here regardless. And then... Can't really move Shmua up at all. Glacier Wolf. Well, if we're spotted, we're going to do a guaranteed hit with Glacier Wolf. That's about all we can do. I think I, I think I risk it now because I don't even know what I'm going to do with everyone when they can barely move two centimeters and we've got this many people in a little corner. Um, like it, it, it's almost a relief if we get spotted. Alright, we don't get spotted. Um, that kind of makes the rest of the turn more complicated. Who's our best shot from over here? If I move Stardust... Hmm, I want Stardust to stay out of range. Should have an okay-ish line of sight for the next few turns if I put him here. Sigma Bean doesn't matter that much. Not much of a shooter. We don't really have a lot of shooters. I think I'll just put Glacier Wolf over here. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's a regular sectoid. Sheep say meh. Thank you very much for the resub. Eight months. Much appreciated. With Prime. Thank you so much. And good to see you again. Hi to you as well. I can't believe moving here got us spotted after that. But what we can do is flashbang all of them. That's a good start. Um, I could also run and gun with Yatuwatu for a guaranteed shotgun, but it only does 6 to 11. We can use Soulfire to deal 4 to 6 damage. To something guaranteed. Uh, I could do insanity and soul fire, but only if I leave our side person standing in the open, which is probably not the best idea. We can hit all three with grenades, and we have two grenadiers, uh, I believe, and both of them have tandem warheads. So I think we're going to start with that. Seems like a good plan. Ah. Alright. Uh, yes, we can hit them all. And hopefully destroy some of their cover, but this is not the type of grenadier spec that'll do that down. necessarily. It is just wooden boxes over here, though. That's a start. Grenadier number two. Shmua, if you please. It's really only one place for you to move up and be in cover. Are you going to have angle, though, to grenade them if you do that? Probably from here. Moving to position. Yeah, we're fine. Alright, once again, grenade Ready all three. Out. It was very nice of them to all bunch up like this. Otherwise, this would be a very big problem this turn. Glacier Wolf can execute any one of these guys. We'll probably go for the Muton with six health. Um, I think I probably will go for Insanity Soulfire. I think later we get a chance to deal damage with Insanity, but not yet. If we mind control, if, if we actually mind control the sectoid, maybe we get spotted by something over here and we can't deal with it this turn, so maybe that's actually not the best idea. Uh, I could use Stardust's clutch shot this turn. That would allow him to move and do something 
and be ready to shoot next turn. So we've got 2 to 4 damage. Um, we can obviously guarantee kill the Sectoid. Soulfire is 4 damage, right? 4 to 6 minimum, yep. Um, so let's just... Solid copy. Guaranteed kill this guy. Target is under my control. Look at that. First turn for this uh, soldier, he kills a muton. Um, I could take a 48% to try and save our clutch shot over here, but I don't really see Stardust necessarily needing clutch shot. Then again, we may as well. Where's uh, Glacier? Glacier Wolf, where did you go? Could you please hail of bullets that? I didn't even look at the odds to hit it. I knew it would be very low. Glacier's aim actually is pretty bad. And it's also heavy, heavy cover. All right, we miss. I could just go for a shot. 34%, that's pretty terrible. Sigma beam. Is it clear? Can't even see. May as well overwatch. And, uh, well, we've got four shots, we may as well. Nice. That actually would have just one-shot him. Alright. I think I'd actually like Stardust over here, much more likely to have shots. And closer What's to the way? evac. That's the elders' warlock. All reports indicate he's nearly as dangerous as they are when it comes to psionic capabilities. Stand proud. Cool under pressure. Aim and crit on reaction shots. Uh, defense and dodge against reaction fire because of course. Extra damage and aim and crit and whatever against exposed targets. Missed shots against this chosen will generate shielding. Lovely. And of course we don't have skirmishes available right now. Two armor hit points and 47 hit points. Bloody hell. Just picked up a unique signature. One of the chosen is here. That thing is only going to make trouble for us until we deal with it. That is a tanky resistance fighter. I will sacrifice you for the elder's blessing. Okay. What kind of nonsense do you have? Close combat sh specialist, free reaction shot at any enemy visible in four tiles that moves or fires. So I can't rush in and stab it. Two-tile bonus radius for Mind Scorch. Teleport ally. 70% chance to burn the target with their madness. Two-turn cooldown. Mind control. Summon followers. I think he takes almost no damage while his summons are alive as well, and it doesn't bother to tell you that. Gives a shield, aim, crit chance, massive buff for an ally, combat readiness, I think he gains an action whenever he gets hit as well, gain a movement action or combat readiness after taking damage on XCOM's turn, very fair, very balanced, very sense making. Alright, the first thing we need to do is shred the armor regardless. Do I want to rocket him? Probably not. It's going to be Rorosaur's whole turn. And... We don't have, like, heat warheads or anything. We may as well use a Grenadier. To shred his armor. Here, and we can't right. really plan the rest of our turn. We just have to see where he moves.
Lovely. Okay. Um, flashbangs don't do anything, by the way. I could try to mind control him. I don't think that's going to work somehow. Midden is still hidden. So let's move up and grab this loot. Uh, I also wanted to look at his will is 50. That's actually not very high. Stat-wise, he's worse than our Psy person. Um, I'll keep mid in there just for the moment, but I doubt we're going to want to move people up too much here. If I had Shredder, I might take a shot with Glacier, even though his aim is bad. But because his aim is bad, I haven't given him Shredder. I guess we may as well try Insanity. I'd be really surprised if it can actually do anything to him. It, it won't even let us try. Okay. That's cool. Uh, we can 85% hit him with uh, Stardust. He does get bonus defense and dodge against reaction fire. And I think he always moves first, so he would waste Stardust's uh, Overwatch shot, most likely. He's out of range of the rocket now. I can move Shmua up and maybe, I'm on it. maybe grenade him. If he goes to the other side of this, Shmua's going to be flanked though. May as well try. At least he's lost his armor. And he's going to keep running. Alright, I think we'll surprisingly not have an angle to snipe him? Hmm. I'd like to move Midden up so we can spot some enemies, potentially. This should be fine. On target position now. Oh. Looks like hostiles over here. Okay. Uh, I guess move up. Probably move everyone up in Overwatch. There's really nothing more we can do this turn. If we found a mech, we could try to hack it. Would be a risk, but not a big one. Yatu Watu. Um, I'd kind of like to get closer to flank these guys, but like... There's no... Nothing to use for a grapple or anything. I'd probably bring Yatu up here, but then I'm afraid of spotting something. I think we should probably just wait. Can I mind merge myself? No. Hmm. 76% chance to... It's like maybe a 30% chance to one-shot that trooper. I think we'll just wait for reaction fire. Alright, let's move up Absolutely. Overwatch. Scanning. Get cozy into camp. How far does this vision go? Not too far. I think here would be safe for Glacier Wolf. Bean over here. Uh, Yatuwatu. Probably stay right there with your gravel and stuff. Stardust Overwatch and Jake Overwatch. Well, at least they're relatively weak at this point. Good start. Muton down. Very nice. Didn't expect Glacier to hit a shot, that's fine. And he's gonna buff Sectoid. 
which almost doubles his hit points. And he's going to keep running away. And then double move back, actually. Double mech berserker. Two longbow mechs. That, and they're very far away. That's not comforting. Do we get our reaction shot? No, we already did. But Rorosaur's on the case. Spotted flanked? God damn it. Alright, Midden, I guess it's slicey dice time. Um, unfortunately, you don't have any slice and then move on abilities yet. Otherwise, this would be an easy choice. We can double 63% this sectoid. I think I'll probably just rocket the... What? 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 I can shoot at this sectoid, but I can't get an angle with a rocket. Uh, okay. That seems weird. I'd really like to slicey dice the sectoids, but we're going to be very, very exposed if we do that. Um, do we have shots with Stardust? Really don't. Should probably just reaction fire for him. Catch someone in the open. What about... Jake could go for insanity. Does this thing have extra will? It does. I think we should probably try insanity on this sectoid. And it's panicked. I'll take it. And then we have Soulfire. Uh, I can only see the sectoids. Maximum 6 damage. Um, Alright, well, I might have to do that, but we'll wait and see if our decision-making changes a bit from there. Um, I could rocket these two. Uh, not really. Kind of. I don't think we're necessarily going to get a decent chance to use a rocket on this mission. Glacier Wolf needs four more turns for Hail of Bullets. Um, I could potentially move him to where Midden is for a flank shot, but he'll probably miss anyway. Over here for a flank. Might not be the worst idea. Sigma Beam doesn't really have anything to do until we can see those mechs. Uh, Yatu Watu could flank shot this guy. I think that is probably the way to go. Hopefully there's nothing more up this way. I don't think there would be. Alright, 100%. 6 to 11. Fantastic. And then Midden could slice this guy. And probably... Oh, it's a scout. I was going to say probably kill him when he tries to move, but he's got... Uh, Shadow Step doesn't trigger Overwatch or Reaction Fire. And we also only have 92 to hit him. Uh, I could guarantee killed the Sectoid that we already used an action on. I could hit the Warlock, but he's going to shoot us in the face. And it's barely going to do any damage anyway until his summons are dead. Um, maybe we could break the cover for that sectoid with a grenade that hopefully won't hit this guy. I'd like to take the heavy cover. I hope we can still reach. We can. I can actually hit both of them. 
All right, let's do that. That's the start. We can guaranteed kill this sectoid with uh, soul fire, but maybe we've got a more efficient way to use our action points. We've now got 86% on flanked sectoid. Let's take it. Stardust, if you please. Fantastic. And then... Uh, we've only got one action with Jake. Let's execute Sectoid. Fantastic. So now I just have to deal with that scout, and we can actually deal damage to the Chosen now, but we don't really have an angle for it. I kind of want to get Rorosaur in range, but he'll have to be a bit vulnerable. Glacier Wolf. Could only take a poorly aimed shot. Maybe I should slash this guy. I'm scared of awakening something over here, though. Good evening, all. Hughes Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Some fancy looking 3D chess I see. <laughs> Indeed. This is, uh, this is kind of like roulette chess. Um, I really don't see how I'm going to deal with this scout this turn. I've got a grenade uh, way over here. I don't think we can reach. I do, I do have a command. I could command Rorosaur to burn the scout. I think that's probably the way to go here. Oh, I can't quite put him on this side of the rock. Oh, that stings. I could put him here. He's technically not flanked by the Chosen, but the Chosen would have to move like two tiles to flank him. Hmm... I could ping him for two damage with combat protocol. Feels like a waste, especially when we know there's two mechs. Uh, I could rocket him. I can't really do that anymore since Yatu is up there. I could suppress him. I might. I might have to suppress him. I feel like I should be suppressing the Chosen, if anyone, though. I could take a flank shot at the Chosen, but with Glacier's aim, it's not likely to do anything. Does anyone else have a shot? Not quite. Literally one tile off for Sigma to take a shot at the Chosen. Okay. How much damage would this be? Minimum five. If it doesn't graze. We'll call it 5 damage. If I can deal 4 to this guy, we can go finish him off. I don't I don't see it happening this turn. I think we should just suppress him. I'm going to have to use my one free reload for this. Otherwise it's a 4% to hit. I'm pretty sure we don't actually get the reaction shot out of suppression because he has Shadow Step, but that means he can't, like, run, break the suppression, and then have better aim. Okay, I think I'll... Uh, I kind of accidentally took the best spot for Rorosaur to move up here. I want to put him here behind the heavy cover, but I'm scared of the Chosen doing some kind of mind fuckery. 
Let's get Freeman over here. Rorosaur, just move up and overwatch. Actually, I don't think he's ever getting a shot with this overwatch, so we might as well take a 25 on the scout. Sigma Bean over here, please. Scouts don't have grenades. And Midden. I hadn't really thought about what to do with Midden. Wait, Midden doesn't have Shadow Step. No, that'd be very useful here. Uh, okay. In that case, just move back a bit. Mind Scorch? Don't tell me they're close enough for AoE. Oh my goodness. He still hit through the suppression? At least it was only a scratch. Um, I don't know if the damage over time tick happens now. It does. That's really nasty. Damn, three damage. That sucks. Also, he can't use a grenade this turn. I might just have to get Shmua out of the picture here. We've got a whopping 50% chance to damage Waller. And if I don't hurt him this turn, he's going to summon more stuff. And I'm not going to be able to do anything to him next turn. Alright, 100%, please execute. Fantastic. Not a 100% uh, chance to kill there. That was just for the hit, not the damage. Um, can I... I can give him ablative hit points with this. I don't think it stops him from being on fire, though. I could spend a med kit. Who's got a med kit though? Midden? Too far away. Sigma is also too far away, unless he comes to us. So the heavy cover accomplished absolutely nothing here. I really want to hit the Chosen, get him to move, and maybe get a better shot with Stardust. How much bonus aim are we getting from Lone Wolf? The maximum? I'm pretty sure Rorosaur doesn't have an angle here. Unfortunately. This is looking really bad. I could ping him with a uh, combat protocol to force him to move. Xiong, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I could move Freeman up and probably not have enough range to hit with a grenade. Um, I don't even have the range to try anything with Midden. This is actually really, really bad. At least Johnson isn't burning. We can't even attempt insanity on the Chosen, and we don't have soul fire, so we may as well use Mind Merge to give Shmua ablative hit points against the burning. We get five. That's not bad. Why is it like five out of seven? Or are those two the, the two that we lost already? I guess. Alright, who's got the medkits? Or where are they? Bean. I think I'll just sprint Shmua over this turn. It's not like we're going to move Shmua and then use... 
the last grenade. Alright, I'll move Glacier Wolf up. Overwatch. Shmua. Over here. Sigma Bean. Heal Shmua. And I forgot that would actually get rid of the fire, so those ablative hit points aren't accomplishing a whole lot, actually. Whoops. Probably should have thought of that. Um, let's move Jake. Probably stay here, actually. For the most part. I'd like to get Rorosaur. It's a little risky, but everything is. Rorosaur, where you can see the Chosen. I hope the Chosen can't do that kind of BS next turn as well. Um, it might be better to try a 50-50... Uh, it might be better to try Overwatch rather than the 50-50, I think. And we'll move Sigma Bean up a little bit, I suppose. Midden can probably stay here. Our Grenadier okay, over here. No and that's our amazing turn. Okay, he actually just went on Overwatch. That is the last thing I expected. I think I probably should try the 50-50, unless I have range to just grenade him. Oh! I just barely do, I think? No, I can grenade his cover, but not him, it looks like, and we're not going to destroy that cover with this shot. Uh, could we potentially... Oh, we could rocket him. I think it's worth. I could 48% and then try rocketing him. Since the rocket will be his whole turn. But if I only have one action, the rocket's going to be more inaccurate. Let's just start with this. Do I want a reaction fire with the sniper? Is... It, it's not going to tell us, I imagine. Is moving target... Oh, here we go. 30 defense, 50 dodge. It's, um... Less defense than the high cover. Moving target is. But we're almost... We've got like a 50% chance to graze him. I think that's better than missing. Let's put Stardust on Overwatch, and shoot this guy with a rocket. Rorosaur, if you please. Seven damage, that's not as good as I was hoping. He's flanked now. And we, for some reason, get no Overwatch shot. Okay. Um, we can grenade him now, though. Might even be able to do it without moving. May as well. Yes. Five damage. Flanked again. Still don't get an overwatch. Stardust, what are you doing? Uh, I guess that makes sense. Uh, I didn't see how much health he has left, but he's at down to about half, I think. I don't think we can move up and shoot him this turn. I don't really want to go looking for enemies. But I've got a whole lot of actions remaining. So I'm not sure how I should go about this. If I find the mechs, at least Sigma Bean can do something. We've also got uh, Arc Pulsar. I'm not happy about Yatuwatu having 8 hit points though. Hmm. 
Two more turns until we get another hail of bullets. I definitely want to use that on the Chosen. Yeah, maybe we should just camp. Running in and trying to save all the little... All the rebels is not going to work out. I think we do just camp. Even though it's not the coziest camping spot. Uh, I could potentially... No, I was going to say try to get Yatuatu in range to shotgun him in the face, but he's got a uh, close combat specialist. Jake has Soulfire ready. So I'll probably bring him over here to potentially Soulfire the Chosen next turn. Glacier Wolf. I wish we had better cover over here. Uh, I want to get Glacier feet, feet. in range to potentially hit the Chosen. Probably move... Yatuatu back. If I could hide him here, I would. We can't stun the Chosen because of reasons. I've probably already put these guys too close together. Yeah, I think I'll just move Yatu back. I could heal him, but it feels like a waste to use our last medkit for one hit point. On the move. I'm on it. Okay. Moving to Overwatch. Scanning. Now is our time to march. I don't suppose he's going to double move. He's leaving himself flanked to do Mind Scorch. I think he only hits one target at least. Rip Rebel. Um, I don't really have a way to... Jake can't even do anything because of the burning. I don't have a way to heal him this turn. That did not work out very well. Um, we can get a flank shot at least with Rorosaur. Heading out. And I don't think I want to put Stardust on reaction considering what happened last time. 93%, very nice. Please crit. That's not a crit. 23 more hit points to go. He's flanked himself again, but I don't think we quite have the angle to take advantage of it. We kind of do. If I move Glacier up, he'll probably miss. It's worth a try, though. Got it. And we do not find any more enemies. 72% isn't that bad, I guess. Please don't miss. <sighs> Silly me, 72 is zero. Let's try again over here. 89. That's better. You will pay for every strike. Um, who else have we got? Shmua, perhaps? You need to move up like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ish tiles. Probably. On the move. It's a little sketchy. Nope, it's fine. I 
five damage isn't too bad. Another 16 to go. What do we got here? 37%. I think we'll just overwatch instead. I can use Freeman's last grenade, but I can't move him up and have cover. Hey, damsel. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't have a shot with Yatu. I think that's pretty much it for this turn. And... I pretty much have to run our Psy person back to the evac. He's going to burn for, I think, one more turn. He's... If he had one less hit point, he could just die outright, and there'd be nothing I could do about it. I could use Midden's last heal on him. It'd only get him up to, like, half health, because it would have to happen next turn. And then I'd be very reluctant to move him into harm's way again. So I think we'll just hold on to our last heal. Um... And yeah, I guess we just overwatch Stardust. I can at least flashbang off an overwatch from this guy, right? I don't know if that would even work, actually. He's immune to stun disorient. So probably not. Still have no idea what's going on. It's... Yeah, it's kind of halfway through the game. Well, maybe not halfway through. So things are starting to get a little bit complicated. Um, I think that's just kind of it for this turn, actually. I can't grenade this. No, may, may as well overwatch. And... Punker. Should probably get midden somewhere where he can't, uh, where he could give someone a command though. Sure. All right, he's gonna summon. Oh no, that could be fine actually. Well, we found a faceless. That's one little upside of this mission. He's gonna buff it. I don't care about that for the most part. It's very easy to hit. And he barely scratches our tank. Nice. Oh, that's not the angle I expected those guys to come in from. Eight damage from Stardust. A very good start. That puts one of those two mechs on one hit point. Procrastination has failed me yet again. Okay. You're no longer burning, but you've got two hit points left. And you're not in range to do anything this turn. I'm very tempted to just evac you. Uh, Freeman... Probably... Not quite grenade both of those. Could grenade these two. Does the Chosen take less damage while he's given this thing a buff, or is it only when he's summoned something? Damage 2 to 4. You've got to be joking. Alright, so we have to kill this Faceless with uh, 16 hit points before we can really damage the Chosen. Otherwise, we could potentially kill him this turn. Hello, am I dead yet? You are not. This is you right here. You are a very good tank. With terrible aim, but you've got hail of bullets, so we can make you guaranteed hit something from time to time. You also have iron skin, less melee damage, if they can even manage to melee damage you because you parry things. Extra ablative hit points, and also a free smoke grenade and salvo, which could come in handy right now, actually. Sounds like I need new glasses, <laughs> indeed. Um, 
I can't do two useful actions with Sigma Bean, I don't think. Unless you count aid protocoling something. So I'll probably have him move back. And I can... I can execute... Does that... That is the most useless Overwatch I've ever seen from this mech over here. We can literally just walk away from it. Aurorasaur doesn't have a shot, so we can't get two shots this turn. Um, I want to keep Glacier Wolf uh, closest to the Berserker, because he's the only one that can tank it, except for Midden, who could potentially do something, but would just be exposed. I can't remember if I had a character here. Uh, I don't believe you do yet. We do have a few unnamed characters. Shmua doesn't have any more grenades, but does have decent aim. Not a whole lot of damage, though. Glacier Wolf gets one shot. Um, should I try hacking this? It's only 61% to shut down. What kind of snipes do we have? 86% on Faceless, 85% on Berserker. I'm probably going to pretty much ignore the Berserker. 70% on Mech Archer, 60 on Mech Archer. I think I'm most worried by the Mech Archers, but I don't remember if the swipe attack from the Faceless can be parried or not. We also can't put the Chosen until we kill it. We've got 82% if we use Slugshot from way back here. That's something at least. I could stun the Faceless, but the Chosen would be left with immunity, basically. I could move up and hit one of the mechs. Hmm... If I move Midden, I think, I, I could be wrong, but I th think we can maybe get a shot with Jake. Midden can command someone, can't really do anything directly this turn. We've already grenaded this tree once. I don't think there's a chance we can break it. There's so much we have to kill this one turn. I really don't want to leave those mechs up. They've got practically unlimited range on their rockets. Uh, I should probably use... Oh, Midden doesn't even have it yet. Never mind. Incoming would have mitigated their explosion damage. What kind of action is this? Movement only? That doesn't really help. I could run and gun Yatu up to hit the mech, but... I think we're probably better off just... getting the faceless. 82%. That's a decent start. Half its hit points are gone. Who's going to chip away at it some more? Pretty good chance to one-shot it from here with Stardust. And if we take any other shots with Stardust, the odds of doing nothing increase exponentially. Let's try this. Fantastic. Just enough damage. All right. We could now actually damage the Chosen this turn if we, uh, if we so desire. 6 to 11. I think that's worth taking even if we end up taking some damage from the mechs. 
Glacier Wolf, if you please. Hail of Bullets. On the Chosen. Eight damage. Not the worst he could have done. What did... Wait, what? I didn't see what happened there. Did he gain defense or something? Aim and defense bonus. Cool, so now he's even harder to hit. Um... Do I take a 60-something percent chance to shut down the mech? Who knows? Let's see what Rorosaur can do. Can't quite get an angle on that mech. So I'd probably like him to just... Shoot the Berserker, I guess. I want him to be able to shoot it after it goes after Glacier Wolf. Which it definitely will. So here makes a lot of sense. Oh, but you're not going to get to shoot twice next turn because you need to reload. Oh well. Maybe I should reload this turn instead of um, buffing the Berserker by hitting him. Shmua has an 80% on it though, that might be good to take. I don't want to put them close together on your order. because of that AoE burn. 76, that's not a very good odd. Freeman also has 85, but I'm forgetting about the max. The mechs could probably execute Jake Johnson if they see him. I think I really should just get him out. Um, away you go. And I guess we'll have Sigma Bean. Park yourself over here where you're safe and... Execute one of the mechs. Oh, you've also got interference. I forgot about that. But no, this is fine. I want to get Midden in range to do something next turn, unless we're going to command. Um... I don't think so. Shot? Use Mike? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think we'll just reload Overwatch. So that we don't give the Berserker a buff right now. And I'll put Midden in range to do something good next turn, hopefully. Mind Scorch again. It's gonna go through the wall, isn't it? Good start. Good job, Glacier Wolf. Hughes, Mike, are you okay? Uh-oh. Yep, that's why I wanted the mechs dead, but nothing I could have done about it. Glacier is flanked, and I don't like that. Keyboard dropped. <laughs> Indeed. Alright, I can try to hack it, or I can guaranteed half kill it. Uh, Stardust has a 97%, that's on the Berserker though. 69% on Mech. It's not that good. Midden. Midden might take some damage, but it actually guaranteed kills the Warlock. I think it's worth it.
Oh, they missed. Good job, Midden. And then we have basically just the mech that we have to kill. Because uh, Glacier Wolf can tank this thing all day. Okay, Rorosaur and Freeman are burning, so we want to get them out. Can't even take a shot because of that. And we've got one med kit and Midden has it. I think we just leave before they get more hurt. Stardust may as well take the 69%. Nice. Who's keeping score? Very nice, actually. Uh, Shmoa, 92% Berserker, please. I haven't seen any more enemies, I don't think. We might have killed everything. Uh, Sigma Bean. Are you hurt? Like, burning? No. Glacier Wolf, for some reason, can't use Knife Fighter from here. That's weird. I bet if I saved and reloaded, we'd be able to Knife Fight this, but it isn't going to matter. Just to be super safe, we'll aid Protocol Glacier Wolf. I don't think the Berserker can possibly hit him. But we'll make sure. Oh, there we go. Knife Fighter. And... Oh, we have 100% stun. Or I could move up here and probably 100% kill it. 94%? Fantastic. Uh, they still have enemies out there. I don't know where they are, though. I don't suppose this is going to pick up both pieces of loot. Yeah, we're probably not picking up that one. Uh, I really should have done this first. Stardust, please. I was going to say Overwatch, but you're on your last shot. I think we'll have you reload this turn. And move... Potentially to where you more be, uh, might be more likely to get reaction fire next turn. Um, and I guess everyone else is just going to camp. Let's just reload Overwatch. I'm, like, pretty confident they're not going to find us this turn. So we'll get away with some reloads. I'm going. I'm on it. Okay. Stardust, if you please. Long watch. Midden. Have a peek up here. Grab the loot. Advanced Psy. That's actually very, very relevant right now. Um, and then stay back Move here. Position. I don't want you getting seen this turn. No problem, indeed. Midden, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Right, we only have really one shooter at this point. Uh, but we've got Stardust sniping, and they have like two enemies left somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Oh, here we go. They are in this general direction. Stardust, Overwatch, please. Midden. Uh, actually, I kind of want Yatu Watu to get in range, because we might be able to do something brutal with uh, the grappling hook on the same turn that we find them. And 
we'll just stay here for the moment with Midden. Move up with Glacier. Sigma Beam. Probably stay here. And we find them exactly where we thought we would. Oh, nicely done, Glacier. Dropped him, indeed. Yatu Watu, if you please. On your order. Delete Scout. Not quite. Okay, I don't think there are any more enemies, but it's a little unfortunate. We'll have to leave mid and exposed here. Nope, that's it. Fantastic. Status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. That was a lot of wounds, but we didn't lose anyone except a couple of uh, resistance people, which is inevitable. Could be worse. What the heck was that? Fantastic. And despite the destruction left in their wake, XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns. We're gonna have to focus a lot on healing people up now. The elders with their support in ending this menace. At least we know these chosen can be killed. Well, temporarily. Sigma Bean's the only one who got a promotion for that. And I think we're going to take airdrop. I could make you carry triple medkits. We can give... We can give grenades to anyone twice, and it ends up being plasma grenades when we get better tech. Um, that pairs really, really well with our Grenadiers. Or we could... I, I don't think uh, Field Medic has that much value when you don't have Medical Protocol. We'll, we'll go for Airdrop. Might end up getting you Rapid Fire as well, your aim isn't that bad. Okay, and unfortunately we still don't have hacking. We only get plus eight Psy from that advanced Psy thingamajig. How long will our Psy operative be wounded for? 27 days? Let's put a scientist on the infirmary. That drops it down to 18. We can also go to, uh, I think it's the Templar HQ, that'll reduce it further. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot of wounded right now. Anyway, I'm going to take a little break right there. Uh, stream just bought Warlock. And I'm going to grab some hydration, throw up some words on stream for the moment. Whoops. Putting my name in the hat for a unit. All right, we'll do that as soon as I get back. Knoised. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we've got like three or four people, I think. Um, other than rookies who don't have a name yet, or two or three at least. All right. I'll be back in a few minutes. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay, let's continue, shall we? With Long War of the Chosen. Uh, where were we? Everyone's hurt. And we don't really want to take missions right now anyway, because, well, a lot of the time, missions that we would otherwise take, we don't want because Advent has, um, we don't get any concealed starts. Alright, let's get some Haven Advisors into position. Um, Glacier Wolf, why not? And I guess Zip, uh, Zikra? Avenger plotting new course. Okay, we heal, we clear alien debris, we get 83 supplies, which is at least something, and we suddenly have a couple of engineers with nothing to do. Not quite, I want a pair of gremlins in this room. And I want... Well, there's really nothing else for you to do except boost our turrets on the off chance we get attacked. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to just swap them in uh, when the time comes. I could be wrong about that. Supply drop in 41 hours, that's going to be a big help. Boovim and Crimson will be back in 30 hours. 38 hours until possibly an ambush for our covert ops. And we heal. And we get an ambush. Okay. And we do have another rookie available for recruitment. We got a lost, abandoned city. That's usually the easiest for this sort of mission, actually. Uh, I think I do want to take Stardust. And probably Midden. And a couple of good campers. Um, I could grab Morpheus. I think two snipers is a bit much. Boovim and... Crimson are very good, but not for holding a position so much. Um, did I put anyone in Haven Advisor that I want to take out? Probably, maybe Glacier doesn't... Yeah, Glacier's a, not a good shot. Uh, Morpheus, I may even do that. Double Sniper. We do have Zetius. Um, what kind of assault is Ragnar? The regular kind with actually good aim, good health. I kind of want to try and level up Ragnar here. What if we go Ragnar Zedius? And I might have to grab If I'm grabbing Glacier Wolf No, I kinda wanna level up Zedius. But I need Glacier's gun. Priority message coming through, Oh my god. Commander. Putting it on screen now. I had high hopes. For yes, yes, yes. Very good. Critical hits with the sniper chosen can cause us to panic. Lovely. Same thing with the warlock. 50% less damage from dashing melee attacks. We don't want to dash in to hit her anyway unless it's going to finish her off.
the hunter chosen is looking like a problem. Um, the other two are pretty weak still. Oh boy, hidden event. I don't think I can afford to pay to know what that is. We're just ha gonna have to assume the worst uh, and go after it if we see it. Advent firewalls, that's just a thing that happens. Undying loyalty? Oh, good. Uh, we're not going to get the supply drop just yet. We need some... We need to do this mission first. Alright, let's grab our Haven Advisors. Except for my clat. And... Load up this mission. Your attempts at subterfuge have failed. And this defeat will be a costly Definitely one. want Stardust over here. Maybe Morpheus. Zetius. And Midden, I think, would be best. Let's grab our weapon. Do we still not have the better ablative armor? Alright, let's get some armor. Oops, not that one. I kind of want to buy another spider suit already. We can just barely afford it though, right? Oh, we've got a we've got like six hundred supplies to pick up in a minute. So this'll be fine. Finally we have spider suits on our two snipers. I should have considered that I can't buy the mag long rifle. Uh, okay. We can get a mag auto pistol though. Um I should probably give that to Stardust. Since he's got a uh, clutch shot. That's actually 3 to 5 damage, same as the starting assault rifle. Um, but yeah, because we've got another. Because we've got a laser sniper here, I think we'll hold out on the double snipers. We'll do what I was planning to do a minute ago. We'll take Ragnar. Make weapons available. Shard gun. And spider suit. And we'll probably take some extra health. I haven't actually given Ragnar a PCS yet. Probably because we don't have any good ones. Um... But yeah, we've got all the Arc Pulse of bonuses, we've got Lone Wolf. That should be fine. Okay. Am I okay with just 7 hit points on Stardust? I keep asking the same question. We've got 14 mobility here. I think we can bump it down to 13. With, especially with the grappling suit. Okay. So usual plan for these missions. We're basically going to camp the evac and have the people who got ambushed sprint their way across the map for the most part. It's taking a while to load, must be a big map. That looks pretty weak. Point on the 
How many times is the camera going to go back and forth? Alright, we don't even lose concealment on... Who was it? I am this guy. Not that I'm sure if we want to... We probably do want to keep the concealment on I am this guy. Uh, apparently we've got a shot on an explosive. It's just as well because this is a grenade. Oh, Grenadier Rocketeer. That's actually kind of spooky. Jacobek um, could set up for a flank reaction shot, but that wouldn't be very reliable. We could take one shot and then move. Um, we've also got Larius with the triple reaction fire. And Ghost Grenade. That's actually really, really good. We could also use um, Shadow and get some flank knife shots and still be invisible. Alright, I think the first thing we'll do is blow this up. And he's actually pretty low on health already. A loud explosion draws a lost swan, as expected. Um, maybe I do want a slicey dice. 99%, it's almost guaranteed. There's a bit of a chance of a, a graze here to kill this guy outright. Uh, if I move... If I move Jakubek and Larius first, the odds are going to go up, because we've got Lone Wolf. Up to plus 12 aim. Uh, let's go into Shadow, and I think I'll just move right up here and get this flank, actually. That also lets us see through the wall here with um, uh, tracking. Alright, so if we use the throwing knife, we won't be revealed. Fantastic. There was a small chance that wouldn't kill. And then I'm going to move Jacobek up. I would move him here, but that fire makes me a little nervous. I don't know what's going on with this... Um, this red shield here, I think one of the pieces of cover is bugged, and we shouldn't trust it. But let's go over here. We might be able to get spotted through that wall or something. But probably nothing too much to worry about. Now we have 100% and no graze. Guaranteed kill. Fantastic. Wasn't too likely that we'd get spotted over here with that. But even if we did, we've got heavy cover. Midden. Uh, it looks like we don't have any good high ground here. We'll just camp in the corner. Midden, please take a peek in this general direction. And we see... The aliens may have cleaned up the design, but these monsters are no better than the ones my father dealt with. Double sectoid, and I forget what that thing is called. But it's kind of nasty. This isn't actually cover. This is heavy cover. Very good. Um, I'd kind of like... Stardust is already in heavy cover, actually. And has an 83% on sectoid. And that's going to go up if we move people away from him, because again, Lone Wolf. Um, I don't particularly want to take the aimed shot for a couple of reasons. I, I, I want to have the action advantage of surprising them with an Overwatch shot. And I also want to have the action economy of maybe remaining concealed next turn. Uh, and as for Ragnar, I'd love to get you up here, but without spending a grapple. Maybe I should just spend the grapple.
we can't see them all. It might be a bit sketchy trying to move up this way without getting spotted. Let's just put you here for now. And Stardust, Overwatch. And we have to manually end our turn because we could evac as a free action. No shot. Does Archon... Archon doesn't have anything that prevents Overwatch or anything. I think it just moved through too few tiles to trigger an Overwatch shot. Let's see if we can get Midden to get line of sight on all three of them. Um, what? You can see these two? And... Okay, that's weird. I shouldn't be able to see all three of them. But if I move over here, we definitely can. And we can tell exactly where we could move without getting spotted. I'd love to get Ragnar closer, but not. I want to be able to grapple and get in something's face next turn. What if we go up here? Oh, that's actually really good. There shouldn't be anything in the building. And Zetius, park yourself over here, please. I'm on it. Uh, Stardust, Overwatch already. If we spot something over here and you somehow have an angle to shoot it, I don't think that's possible. But I'd like you to go for it regardless. And we can almost put Midden up in this cozy little spot. But uh, looks like that's not going to cut it. This'll do. How far can that Archon move? Not that far. Actually, how far? He could move exactly to this tile. That would be the only tile where he would spot Midden. And Midden would get a, th a free slice. Moving to designated coordinates. So I'm okay with that happening. And then... Is it too greedy to grab this? Maybe. Can I... I can't Ghost Grenade until I'm out of... Out of concealment, weirdly enough. Let's move Larius up... Moving over up. here. And we see... An alien patrol. Uh, what is it? Heavy Gunner and a Trooper. How can we move up on them? Not very well. That's pretty good, actually. Alright, Jackabek, run up there for the Overwatch. If they come this way, we get a free shot. And I am the sky. Um, it really is too greedy to take this loot, I think. Um, on second thought. How close can I get Larius here? Pretty close? Oh, his uh, shadow is going to end this turn. Or at the end of the enemy turn, I think. But it's worth a try doing Overwatch. They'll probably walk out of cover, uh, walk out of line of sight, maybe. Um, it, I am this guy actually has pretty good mobility. We might still get a flesh next turn. PCH conditioning, I don't think that was worth it.
It all depends on what kind of range we have next turn. Here's our shot. 11, good start. It's half dead. Miss is not so good. And they are indeed walking out of line of sight. I kind of expected that. Alright, Stardust has a 53 on Sectoid. That's pretty bad. Really bad, actually. Midden hasn't been seen yet. Um, I could kill Sectoid and be next to other Sect... Oh, wow. I could get in the middle of all three of them. Um, that kills one Sectoid. The other Sectoid might just die from uh, trying to move away because we've got Bladestorm. And the Archon might attempt a melee if we can't kill it, which will deflect with combatives. Um, so I think this is worth trading our... Our stealth. What do we get? Illyrian Core, not that exciting. Um, Ragnar. Can't really do anything useful this turn. I was hoping we could at least like drop down here and get a flank or something, but I mean, we could actually with Run and Gun. It might be better just to stun the Archon. It might be a lot better to stun the Archon. So I take it back, Ragnar can do something extremely useful here. 95%. And it's down. And then Zetius. Um, probably just take a shot, honestly. At the Archon. Let's get a little closer. 62% it'll have to do. And Stardust, 53%. I don't think we'll bother with that. Just... Where can you grapple to, by the way? It's just something to bear in mind. I don't think we'll ever get an angle this mission because of that. Alright, Larius. Um, I kind of want you to move up and try to see these guys through the wall. But... You might get spotted while you do it. I think... I think this is worth a try. And... They did not see us. Okay. So we're gonna put Larius about here. And... Oh, I was gonna say, somehow we can only sit... Uh, only detect one of them still, but no, it's just not rendering it yet. All right, we can put Jakobek up here, or most likely a good reaction shot next turn. And I am the sky. Surprisingly, can dash all the way over here without getting spotted. Stepping off. That should be fine. All right. Oh, and we get some... That's unfortunate. We get some lost in kind of a good spot for us, except that we waste our reaction shots on it. Sectoid's almost dead from reaction swing. It's going to do mind control. And we're going to panic instead of converting. Unfortunately, that means we don't get our double slice on the Archon here. Unless... Um, I don't know if this instantly removes the panic. It's worth a try. 
down goes the sectoid. Panic removed. Fantastic. There's a... Mm, I don't want to say a decent chance. There's a chance we can kill this thing outright with two slashes. Really? I got nothing. Try again. 89% again. Six damage. Ragnar can probably execute it. Um, odds aren't that good, actually. 80%? This is it, right? <laughs> Fantastic. Ragnar packed the bouncy rounds this uh, this time. Alright, we have an 88% on Lost, and that's about it. I think those Lost are more likely to help us than hurt us, though. Um... Do they have grapplers or anything? No, it looks like we can walk past them. If I am the sky... Oh, I can't dash in there? What? I don't think we actually have line of sight on this guy. Or the trooper for that matter, so I can't actually slash them yet. But I could do it this way. Oh, they haven't detected us yet. I think they're going to get, like, movement actions when they see us. Even though they woke up to the lost? Is that how that works? We're going to find out. So. Yeah, no, they've already had their free... No? They get to move now. Um, okay. Fortunately, it doesn't really matter... Probably one-shot the gunner. Fantastic. Good job, I am the sky. And then... So I am the sky has combatives. We don't have to worry about them as far as the lost are concerned. Larius, however, does not. How are we going to deal with this guy but not be vulnerable? is a question. We do have a flank shot from up here. Seems doable. That might be all it takes. Did you see that one? Fantastic. And Larius, uh, I could probably just put you on triple reaction fire potentially. Maybe I should have used the height advantage there. We don't need cover against the lost. Um, I could shoot one of these lost. I probably will do that with the one that has six health. We actually missed the 88%. I like how the door... Like, two seconds later, it animated the door getting pushed open by the bullet. Alright, and that's our turn. Climb up the ladder just to jump down again, indeed. That's how we do. Oh, I forgot to do your name. Sorry, we'll do it after this mission. Uh, Knoised. And out of here. Get out of here. Fantastic. Looks like that's everything. Alright, Overwatch. And everyone else start running home. I am the sky. I mean, there could be more advent on the map, but I don't think we're going to run into them. They're probably way over there. Somewhere. Um, Dakubek's not going to get a reaction shot from sprinting this turn, because even free actions like uh, free reload or opening or closing a door will cancel that with uh, Ever Vigilant. Midden, we just position. go over here. Zetius, just move towards the evac so and overwatch, please. And 
that's the turn. Where are they coming in? I hope they get new knees after the mission. Oh wow, they're gonna get clapped. Stardust, your aim this mission has been very poor. Um, okay. Didn't expect the shotgun to hit. And that's it. Alright. Uh, what's the most economical way to deal with this? I'm pretty sure we can't get everyone out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have to kill this. We could probably just slicey dice. How about we get I Am The Sky a bit more I've XP? Oh, I could have just done this. There we go. Check it before you get too close. And Let's we do are Dunsky. On the move. On your order. Finally. Whatever you say. Larius, get over I'll there, please. There Everyone else. Chill. Overwatch. Overwatch. And I am this guy might have actually been able to get out if I didn't overwatch uh, Stardust. But regardless, we'll be finishing up next turn. Let's move already. I'm going. No problem, boss. Overwatch. Overwatch. Covering now. I am on watch. And we out. Let's do this. I guess I could have taken a shot at those things, but it's like Let's one XP it. or something. No problem, Oops. Boss. Ragnar, get in the evac. I'm on it. What, what's over there? I'll be swift. And Whatever that's it. No one has a shot. Out we go. Fantastic. We have random bird. I hope you're ready to be famous. According to Advent officials, recent attacks by dissident elements operating outside of the city centers have done little to slow the progress of Advent's ongoing development or outreach programs. Voluntary citizen emigration numbers are reportedly at their highest Load times really do keep getting longer. I have yet to discover exactly what type and of it looks like no promotions. Feels bad, man. We got a scope and a, a we got a weak scope and a plus one health. We find but Sixteen but ability that. points, though. Do any of you three get by uh, promotions? We up our no. Maybe we should try something new. Feels bad. Okay. But at least we can unlock one OP ability somewhere. Uh, Jacobek and Midden are ready to improve their bond. I don't see a reason why not right now. Let's do it. It's only three days. And we get advanced teamwork. They also take less time to do covert ops together. Alright, what kind of ops do we have available? Looks like it's rolled over to the next month. Ooh, intense training. What do we get? Hacking plus six? Uh, we kind of have to take that. We've got like one hacker and the stats are not that good. 
That's the only intense training I can see. Alright, uh, where is it? Sigma Bean is lightly wounded. Five days. So we'll get Sigma Bean in there after this one. Most likely. Gather supplies, ability points again. Um, since we've got a minimum ambush chance at the moment, I kind of want to take the ones that only have two soldiers. I do want to get the mech at some point, and the ability points this month. So, mech, ability points, supplies, intense training. Ooh, resistance contact. That's kind of... kind of good. Uh, but yeah, we, there's never enough supplies. Especially when you're trying to upgrade to the next tier of weapons. Let's go after that first. Larius has a bond available? Is Larius not bonded? Uh, Larius is not bonded. The only one you can bond with is Ragnar. I think I was holding out for Rorosaur to bond with Larius, but I have to put them together to make that happen. Hmm. Let me do, uh, Knoiz's name before... Uh, yep. Yeah. So, we've got... Uh, Psy Operative available. Uh, we've got a Specialist that's unnamed. I th think this Grenadier... Yeah, a Grenadier. And I think that's about it, actually. Everyone else has a name. Let me just double-check the reward queue. We've also got Damsel. Okay. Sorry, I didn't see that sooner. Um, who should be what? We got... Uh, how about a specialist, damsel? Customize... Info... Uh... Not sure... Exactly what... How I should split it up, but that'll do, I guess. And obviously, we're going to be purple. Uh, body, is it? Main armor color. Slightly dark purple. Fantastic. Are these really the only purplish colors for the legs? I guess we'll go with this one. Specialist sounds good. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess you can be the specialist. Uh, Anoised? Last name, nothing. Alright. I'll just change those colors back. Unless you have a specific request for that. Alright, uh, so Damsel, I guess, can be this Grenadier. Uh, the one that's going to level the playing field. Uh, info. And... Color. Probably this one. Uh, weapon color? I think the weapon is, like, a specific weapon. Uh, what else? Maybe try and match Damsel's hair, if I can. Not bald. I don't know how close of a match we're gonna get here. Uh, 
How about this thing? Well, she can speak up if she wants something changed. We've got like 18 AP available for you already. For turn 5? You've got pretty decent aim. When targeted by any fire, oh, enemy fire automatically fire back. And you've got negative dodge and lots of health and decent aim. That might actually be relevant. I think it's negative defense that would cause the enemies to prefer to aim at you, though. Close and personal. Um, I don't know. I'll think about it. Personal combat sims. What have we got? Health, will. Yeah, nothing good. Okay. Well, let me just mark those off before I forget. Fantastic. Okay. Do I want to train more Psyops? We've got two rookies spare at the moment. Um, the one Psyop we trained had 30 uh, Psy stat to start with. I think that is probably really unusually high. Yeah, it is. We've got a 27... Oh, we've got a 27 and a 30 here if we're willing to pay for them, which we can't right now. Excuse me. Uh, that's not a lot of health. I th yeah, bad aim, good sigh, good dodge, good health, okay mobility. Carlos Ramirez, I think, will take when we get the opportunity to make another sigh up. Uh, as for the others, they're not looking so hot. But as for the rookies we've already got... I could go for another flamethrower. Seven hacking isn't that high. We're already doing another specialist. Uh, Niha Chavan could maybe be another sharpshooter. Although it's getting a bit late to train people up. We can always park them in as Haven advisors, though. Okay. So, we need to pick a mission to kill time before we get uh, Sigma's hacking improved a little bit. Gain resistance contact. It's got three soldiers. I kind of want to save it for when we might get ambushed. Technically, we might get ambushed this time, but it's pretty unlikely. Uh, I think we will go for more supplies right now. Let's go with... Larius and... How about Boovman? How about Boovim and uh, Crimson? Since they have the bond, I think they... Yeah, they do this faster. And we could hardly get a higher density of... survivability and short-range power than these two together. Uh, except we're missing... A little bit of health on Crimson. I have the bond? What? Yeah, you're bonded with... Uh, uh, Crimson. So I think it's like a, a level 2 soldier bond, so you guys actually do these missions faster. Boovin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay... So let's pick up our supplies. 596. That Avenger is a breath of fresh air. We can actually get 
people equipped somewhat this time. Focus fire training is done on a mannequin. Let's just go ahead and get incoming already. And there's our supplies. What do we want to do with them? We've got 600 now. We can make equipment instantly when we need to. Um, can't build a shadow chamber yet. Uh, we can build relays if we really need to. I could upgrade... Costs one power, but that's okay. Can't afford a lab or comms right now, unless I get more power this way. Or I could just park one of the gremlins in here. Uh, but yeah, we could upgrade the officer training so we can do two in parallel. I think that's probably a good idea right now. So we've got I am the sky or sheep say mare. I think we'll go with I am the sky, get Should we go for Jammer or Trial by Fire? Once per battle, delay reinforcements. Any soldiers ranked below Sergeant will automatically be promoted after a successful mission with I Am The Sky. This would be an easy pick for a Spy Shinobi, but we don't have a Spy Shinobi right now. We still have a bunch of... Yeah, we have some low-level characters. Jammer doesn't come in that... Uh, come in handy that often, necessarily. And I Am The Sky already has... A couple of our corporals that we want to level up have missions under them. So I think we will go Trial by Fire. I don't usually do that. Uh, anything else? Purchase upgrade, second cell. I don't think we're going to need that. We also can't afford the power right now unless I park someone in here. Oh, we still have an exposed power coil. Uh, whoops. I didn't even realize. Uh, let's pull Shane O'Reilly out of the defense matrix and get that started. 45 day is at this rate, but we're going to be done with the incendiary. Oh, yeah, yeah, I definitely want to queue some of this up. Uh, we need a Skulljack to progress the game. 75 supplies. Sure. That's pretty nasty, actually. Better medkits. Well worth the cost. Hazmat suit. Alloy plating. Um, needle rounds are surprisingly good. And easy to obtain. Gas grenades. We're already down to 400 supplies. I'm very tempted to manufacture scopes. In fact, I think I will. Scopes have been really, really hard to get this playthrough. And we can make them much more cheaply than we can buy them. Um, hair triggers, not as bad. Magazines, not as bad. Suppressors, tempting. Shredder rounds? Definitely consider that, but I think we've queued up enough for now. Definitely going to get Talon rounds eventually. We're doing this with gremlins, so it's not like I can pick, put two people in here. I would have to reduce the proving ground speed to minimum in order to speed this up a little bit. So we'll probably just leave that as it is. Alright, and we still have seven wounded. So let's go get them healed. 
Um, but first, I think we probably have a few Haven advisors missing. Let's put Larius in here. Uh, Stardust. That's an engineer, that's fine. The deceitful traitors who have left the service of the elders are known to reside near Glacier Wolf, I guess. You would do well to distance yourself from these feckless creatures. I think that's everyone. And we need to get ourselves over here. 240 intel and we need another resistance contact. And then we need one more leap after that. I could reduce the intel cost by, by building a tower. Um, a hundred supplies? That is relatively cheap right now. Except we're only going to have 280 for good weapons. We are doing a supply run already. I'm not going to have the intel to do this even after the tower, so we'll put that off a little bit so that we can afford our weapons. Let's get people healed. And Ian Harris. That's a rookie. What? Rookie Ian Harris has recovered from wounds? Oh, I think that must be one of the Haven people. Ian Harris. There he is. Fantastic. They're very resilient. Alright, we have incendiary grenades. Very good. I am sure you and intel. As intriguing as I do, Commander. Uh, Illyrium is inspired. Our supplies are going away very, very quickly. Battle armor also might be nice. We've got 55 intel now. We don't have to do this right away. We should probably take the inspired. Eager to begin, Commander. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll new need to move fast. recruit in New Indonesia. Keep recruiting. And supplies. Fantastic. Uvim gets a promotion. Uh, what have we got? Ooh, Whiplash. This is a guaranteed hit, I think. Four-tone uh, four cooldown hits robots very hard. Guaranteed hit. And I think in Long War of the Chosen, uh, with the mod set I've got, it's got like a green color, which would make you think it's a free action. Maybe it is a free action in the vanilla game, but don't be fooled. It'll actually end your turn. Uh, but yeah, let's take that. And we've got 13 AP to spare at the moment. I could spend 7 of our shared AP on low profile. But I think we've got bigger fish to fry. Why do you have... Oh, wait, what? No, there it is. Why do you have no accessories here? Take a laser sight. Expanded mag. And that's about it, actually. Okay. We have another covert op to queue up. Tumbling satellite, all negative traits removed. Fantastic. Um, intense training. Not 
just yet. 27 hours, so Sigma Bean can do this next time. Um, okay, so what what else do we have? I think resistance contact is too important to put off much longer. So let's go... Even Crimson, that knocks it down by one day. And... Yatu Watu, perhaps? 19% failure. I don't feel great about... 14%? If I send Shmua? If I pull Larius out of Haven Advisor, it's probably a hundred. It's probably practically 0% failure. Larius, Crimson, and Bivin. 14% still. Well, it'll have to do. Um, but before you go, let's give you some armor. New orders, Commander. New orders, build plated Templar armor. Having never stepped foot in one of the city centers, I've never actually had one of these Advent burgers I keep hearing rumors about. All right. No one really seems to be asking the hard questions either. So you've got like, the first tier the upgrade of all of these the now. You still don't have the better plating. Um, but you should have enough hit points now. Alright, let's queue this up. Gain contact. Four days. Off you go. My followers will lead this action to victory. And ten hours until bond training is done. Uh, a lot of time passed there that I didn't expect. Oh, I guess we need to start... Well, how many people are still wounded? Four? It looks like Bean is just about done. Three days, four days for Sloda and Freeman. Nine days for our Psy-Op. Uh, I want to get a couple more people available here. Bean is back. And I want to start looking for missions. Where's the weakest advent strength? This was only one. Wow. Let's start looking for missions here in particular. I might even put a scientist in here. To speed it up and get intel faster. But then... Then we can't recruit or find faceless. We'll wait a little bit longer on that. Oh yeah, let's um before we forget. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Let's get a mag long rifle. Or Morpheus. And some newbie can have the laser rifle. Elite stock. Beautiful. A scope would be nice, but apparently we don't have a, one available right now. Actually, there should definitely be a scope somewhere. Yeah, I put a bunch of scopes on little laser SMGs earlier. And maybe advanced suppressor? Seems good. Um, should I set any of it, our other havens to intel? Strength 5, 5, this one's irrelevant. Strength 4, I could see us doing that. Alright, let's try and find a mission. Now available for recruitment, another rookie. Uh, I didn't really see which one it was. Oh, it's another Ping Fong. It's another high-level Psy person. 
pretty bad health though. Oh yeah, I do want to grab this rookie right here. 5 health, 30 psi. Decent movement. Will is actually pretty low. But that only... We only need the will defensively, I'm pretty sure. Let's put them in... Hello, Commander. Oops, whoops. No, 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 no. Uh, who was it? Carlos Ramirez. Okay. Not looking like a side person. Anyway, in you go. Carlos Ramirez. Not too worried about the training time to be on. No, no. Not really that worried about the training time to be honest. It's not going to be our bottleneck. And we scan. Skulljack complete. Do we already have the skull mining? Enhances the hacking ability. It's 150 supplies though. But if we could give that to Sigma Bean, that would be a big help. When we do have to hack. I think we have to prioritize giving people guns first. And there's the Undying Loyalty. We have a new Shinobi. We have a new Specialist. Fantastic. What have we got? Um, we already saw their stats, but yeah, that's decent. Was this the one I... Yeah, this was the one I was going to make a spy. Um, don't really see anything relevant for any kind of Shinobi here. So, that's no big deal. I can't give you officer training yet, I don't think. And what about our specialist? 72 aim, 3 health, 15 mobility, 58 hack. That sounds... Very, very high for a squatty, I think. Hacking. The Noised is a corporal and has less hacking than Rangar... R Rangarajan. Uh, Bean is a staff sergeant and still only has 71. So yeah, that's a really good hacking stat, I think. Uh, but what about your bonus abilities? Watch them run. I, I haven't gotten this ability on a relevant character before. Launch a grenade and automatically go to Overwatch. Um, yeah, this isn't too exciting, but that's fine. This is going to be a hacky hack. And we have two rookies that we might want to train up. I think we'll make Neha a sniper. And whoops. As for Ab Abhinav Patel, decent health, good decent mobility. Pretty bog standard, slightly bad aim. This one is remarkably average. Decent dodge. Um, so what kind of class? Let's see what we've got. We've got only two assaults. I could probably go for another assault. Three grenadiers, two gunners. Single Psyop, that's going to be two. Only two Rangers. Uh, going to be four Sharpshooters, but my clack kind of doesn't count. Uh, plenty of Shinobis, but you got to have lots of Shinobis. 
specialists. We've got three, three technicals. It's a pretty decent spread. Um, I'm thinking either a gunner or... Maybe a ranger? Let's go for another gunner with guaranteed hits, probably. Depends on what we get. Okay, and that's everything sorted for the moment, I think. Now we really need to find a mission. And we really need to gain a lot, and I do mean a lot, of intel. There's a mission. Eight days, ten hours, extremely light. Engineer intel package. Sounds too good to be true. Uh, but it's advent strength one, so I don't think it can be a trap. High alert, it's impossible to start in concealment except with our shinobi. Large map. Rescue VIP from cell. So basically the only bad thing here is the lack of concealment. We're going to be hearing this a lot. Uh, I don't want to send Sigma Bean this time because I want Sigma Bean to do the intense training. Let's take Midden. Um, I was going to say Stardust. Let's take Morpheus this time. Get some Spider Suit going. With eight days, I could almost make it like a training mission, but you never know what we're up against, and we don't have concealment. Um, let's go with Rorosaur. I want to mostly go with the A-team for this mission. Let's get our other specialist. The one that we're leveling up the double shot for. Um, probably Shmua. We've got some flame grenades now. Oh, can we get a... Can we get an improved grenade launcher? We can, finally. It's only 25 supplies, but we needed X number of engineers, as I recall. That's going to give us, like, plus two range. Bonus grenade range six, bonus grenade radius one, versus four and one. Yep. Okay. Let's get some plating. I just want to check something. We don't have bonus radius yet on the character itself. Let's go for a couple of frag grenades. Actually, it'll be two incendiary grenades, one frag. I think we'll go one flashbang. PCS, there's nothing good right now. Uh, that's five people. If we go six, we're going to be cutting it a little bit close, but I think that's fine. I should bear in mind that we don't have concealment. So we mostly want people who are good at shooting as opposed to an ambush. Yeah, I think we'll take Jack back here. All right. Need to redo these weapons. Advanced, advanced, advanced. Laser sight, hair trigger. Oh wait, that should go to our reaction fire specialist. 
and some regular aim, like standard shot aim for Rorosaur. Scope. Um, auto loader might be good. We've got a million of them. And we'll take some suppressors to reduce the infiltration time. Uh, we also want reaction fire on this one, but you don't have the ability to crit with it yet, so no laser sight for you. We'll save the scope. Air trigger. Auto loader. Probably advanced auto loader, or maybe advanced mag, because you do the double shots. And suppressor. You can have the elite hair trigger. Got 12 AP available right now. Ooh. Should we go with Predator? Ranged attacks gain plus 15 bonus aim and crit if the enemy's flanked. That's perfect for reaction fire. I think we take it. Uh, but if we... If Jacobek dies right before... When we already spent on this, right before we get rapid reaction, that would be such a gargantuan waste. One more promotion, and then you get that. All right. Suppressor. Um, cheap laser sight. That's really all we need. Auto loader, I guess. Suppressor, laser sight. And auto loader. Everyone got armor? Nope. It's going to be a long time before we have something stronger than Predator armor. I should probably just make some more. And I do believe that is our squad. I am going to have a medical protocol on this one. But I don't think it's worth... It's probably not worth taking a medkit right now. Actually, what's your mobility? 13. That's already too low. Alright. That's how it's going to be for now. Are those the only bullets we have? Yep. I could take the Skulljack. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea on this mission. Central's going to yell at me again. Should I spend... Mm, no, I think we'll wait a bit more to get Steady Hands on Morpheus as well. Oh, we do have a medkit on Midden. That's fine. Alright, I think that is the squad. Should have no trouble infiltrating in time. people are wounded. Um, I think it said three, yes. 14 hours, 40 hours, and eight days. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, we could probably, as soon as those other two are healed, we'll take a scientist out of the infirmary. And we should probably gain intel at the moment. It does take time to build the radio relay. Maybe I should start with that. This was our first, um... This is where we started, right? So we're already... 
couple of hops away. If I don't build a radio relay, I'm trying to get 240 intel to expand this far. The first one only costs 100, I think we kind of have to. Alright. An ambush? Fascinating. That might actually be really good. Commander Tigan and Shen oh my goodness. Central. No. Bad. Alright, who are we taking? We just put the A-team on a mission. Um, but we do have plenty of people here. Sloder, Sigma... I don't have a sniper. Oh, I can take Stardust out of West Asia. Just teleport him across them, across the planet. And Glacier Wolf as well, perhaps? So, Glacier... Stardust... Maybe Sigma Beam? Um, could try leveling up Zedius a bit. Zedius still has a good gun equipped, right? Yeah. Alright, which Shinobi are we taking? That's going to be... Sheep, I guess? Could make this damsel's debut. Can we afford any more good grenades? Oh, we've only got one type of grenade. That would be good to add, but let's find out. Incendiary grenade. Fantastic. That's actually the last one I can build for now. Was it weapons or items? We need purifier corpses. That might be hard to get. But yeah, take a pair of incendiaries. We've got eight hit points. We could maybe carry extra grenades. Um, how much armor do we have available right now? Only one? I think we should just make some more. Oh, we've got Sloder here. Fantastic. Might want to make some more weapons. Um, yeah, I think we'll take Sloder and Zetius this time, and this can be Damsel's debut, with the fire grenade. Okay, we need to make three Predator armors. I guess that's not that bad. I'd love to get an advanced grenade launcher. It's only our second one, and it's not that expensive. And I can't make it purple, can I? I don't think so. Uh, do we have any of those lovely Sten guns still available? For the people who mostly won't be shooting, a little plus five aim isn't a bad thing. Let's get this thing equipped. Might as well take the scope. And I think we need another mag rifle. And we're already down to 32 supplies. 
Alright, uh, you're mostly reaction fire. Let's give you laser sight, hair trigger. Do we not have a better hair trigger? We do not. And... Auto loader? Alright, so we got Shooter, Shooter, Grenadier, Sword. Do we have a sword available? We should do. Yes. And we could probably... Probably go for a medkit. A poison immunity. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Okay, let's put the usual stuff on the SMG. Laser sight, suppressor, auto loader. And I think that's our squad. Damsel's got 18 AP to spend. Uh, but the options aren't that exciting. Probably just leave that for the moment. Unless we want to give her, like, clutch shot. I think she's slow enough as it is when weighed down by grenades. We need a plus movement ECS for her. Or maybe even a uh, grappling a spider suit. Okay. So that's it for now. I haven't actually picked anything from the extra skills for Sheep's new character. Um, Iron Curtain, potentially... It's very circumstantial, but, like, all of this other stuff is not that great. Gain plus one damage on crits for every two enemies you can see, up to a maximum of plus eight. Doesn't work for the sword, though. The sword's the only one I care about on this character. Uh, we could save up and get you negative 30 crit against you. And or... The ability to cause overwatch shots to miss. That's actually pretty big. Let's wait for that. Implacable would be pretty huge, but it's way too expensive and you've got low combat intelligence. What's the Bible thump for? Uh, I think we're ready. Probably. I don't really see myself putting any of this stuff on Damsel temporarily. Let's go. Sky Ranger deployed. In position for deployment. And we're in. Sheep Samer, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, it's one of these maps. Uh, this could be pretty bad, actually. Okay, sheep, I need you to locate the enemies that are almost definitely over here. Preferably without being seen. They should be like 10 centimeters away from us. Yep. Oh, lovely. 
So we got enemies here, and we have enemies including an Archon here. And we can barely sneeze without waking them up. I, uh, I really wish they wouldn't do this with the, uh, the missions that start just right next to enemies. I mean, this, this at least kind of makes sense, but there's so many missions where you start, like, literally one tile away from activating enemies. Um, how am I going to go about killing these? We can only do one action with Crimson, uh, and it, we can't even guarantee it's going to hit. It could, it should kill this guy outright as long as it doesn't graze or miss, though. So we might start with that. Uh, Buvim is probably going to be able to execute Grenadier outright. Uh, there's that green ability that actually will end your turn that I was talking about before with Plash. I could not quite go up here for a flank. Uh, and I think Larius... It probably makes sense to see how we do with the other two before we make a decision. Alright, so 100%. And once more with feeling. Probably finish it with a slash just to save the ammo. Uh, Crimson, if you please. Very nice. So that means we can finish this off. And we can use uh, Larius's shadow to head in this general direction without fear of getting seen. Probably could have done a dash, actually. But these two would have been pretty far behind. Oh, hey, we have line of sight on these now. So we can tell exactly how far. And yes, literally if Damsel moved one tile diagonally, we would activate enemies on the first turn. Uh, that's cool and normal. I'll just move Crimson up a little bit. Um, I'm pretty sure we want to... Well, I was going to say we try and set up to ambush these guys and avoid these guys for one turn. What have we got? Double snake? It's double regular snake. And Archon. Luckily, Sheep Say Mech can deal with the Archon pretty handily. With combatives. We've also got Zedius with combatives. I can't even go over here to try and get an angle. To shoot at these guys. Um, it's risky. Yeah, it's too risky. I was going to say sheep try and get eyes on all of these. So we can move people up exactly. But I don't think that's going to work out too well. I think what we'll do is have Zetius move over here. Go into Overwatch. Uh, unless they spot us somehow. If they do spot us, Damsel's gonna cook one or two of them. And we'll go from there. Alright, we see nothing. We get Sloda over Let's here. Fantastic, we overwatch. Down. We have Damsel... Ugh. We have Damsel move up to the only spot she can, where she might not get seen by these guys next turn, but also be close enough to grenade anyone. Actually, we just upgraded your... Grenade Launcher. I think if you went back here it would be fine, but still would be just as likely to get spotted. That's affirmative. So let's move you over here. And then, Scanning. that just leaves sheep, who we will move back. I don't know where exactly. Um, 
it looks like the Archon can't go as far as that tree. So this should be fun. And we'll be set up for a flesh or to scout next turn. Ooh, excellent start. Good job. That's not as good. That could be really good for us. Um, I don't think it's going to be very difficult to avoid getting spotted by them this turn. Let's move Larius up a bit closer. I go where you tell me. So we can tell exactly where these three are. And then we should be able to deal with these two. Is it only two of them? Oh, one of them's a pyro. I'm not a fan of that. Suddenly it doesn't look as easy. Uh, I'm pretty sure the purifier is immune to fire unless we've got phosphorus like he does, which we don't have yet. Well, I was going to say we don't have yet, but actually we would need a technical. Um, but we can cook the officer. Alternatively, I could hit both of them so that we damage both and shred the purifier. Uh, I don't like how close the purifier is going to be able to come, though. I think I'll move Damsel back a bit. I wish I knew exactly how much range the purifier had. Could move up to here. I feel like I should move back a little bit. I just don't know. I could uh, flashbang them. Yeah, I think I'll flashbang them with Sloder. And we'll take one poorly aimed shot, perhaps? Is it even worth it with 37%? Do we have a guaranteed hit here? We do not. I could also area suppress them. Make doubly sure they can't do anything effective next turn. Oh, what's this? Uh, okay, if I'm not careful trying to move up Crimson, I'm going to get spotted at the other end. I could also move Sheep Seymour over here and Slicey Dice, but I think against a Purifier that's not a very good idea. So we'll probably take one Hail Mary shot. Throw Flashbang. Damsel is going to do a little bit of cooking. Heads down. Didn't set him on fire, unfortunately. Uh, and Zedius can area suppress. Roger that. Suppressing hostile. As for sheep, um, I'm not sure, to be honest. Let's get Larius. Larius is going to lose stealth next turn. Um, is that okay? Probably should have moved him up to the heavy cover so he could overwatch, but then... We might not have been able to see where all three of them were. That's why I didn't do it. How about we move Crimson up here, see if there's anything to the left. And... Move up a little bit closer. And move him... Can actually use Crimson as cover. 
And then Larius probably just get nice and close over here. But where they won't have line of sight to you, but where you can see them through the walls. I'm trusting you. And sheep. Probably just keep yourself in range where you will be able to use flesh on anything. Confirmed. All right, and that's the turn. Oh, officer is burning. Nice. Seven damage on Pyro. These three still haven't seen us. Very, very nice. Um, I really want to kill this purifier before before it loses disorient. Damsel, if you please, would you mind greeting them cordially? Here, catch. I don't think it'll kill them outright, but it'll shred. That's pretty good, actually. The officer has a good chance of just dying uh, next turn. I think he takes one extra damage from burning because of boosted cause. Or well, actually, the burning wasn't from the frag grenade, uh, from the flame grenade directly. It was from the environment when he moved. So I don't know how that works actually. Uh. We've got a 57% twice to hit this guy. But if we miss, he probably could come and get us. I could suppress him again. Oh, that's fantastic. How many is that now? Very, very good. Thank you. Let's do this. Moving to Overwatch. And then, can we move Zetus forward? to not do anything? Cool. That's fine. Um, if I move Larius, he gets spotted and then they react in such a way where as if they could only see Larius. Actually, we might have to kill the officer for that to be the case. I could grenade them. And still have one action with Larius. It wouldn't be the strongest grenade. We could maybe wait one turn and grenade them with Damsel. Uh, I could just shoot this officer as well with Sheep, who will remain concealed. Or I could stab with Sheep. For a guaranteed kill. Who probably won't get set on fire next turn. Probably. Also, we'd have cover in this direction. Oh, there's some loot here that we can't get, probably. Realistically. Yeah, I think it's too late. I mean, I, I, we never would have had a chance to get it, but it's too late to even think about that now. Alright, I want to move Larius... Um nowhere actually if there's a chance that these guys somehow don't spot us next turn uh, I'd like to grenade them while they're all next to each other um, I would potentially like to get triple reaction fire from Larius but I don't think there's a good way to go about that I think we just stay here and overwatch. What about Crimson? Crimson can move up in this direction. Do we have any more ladders over here? Not quite. I could actually get Crimson right near the ladder. Without getting spotted. As you direct. And I'll put Larius over here. And move him at the ladder, please. 
This is going ridiculously well. Um... Oh, Zedius has uh, Ever Vigilant. Except not after a free reload. Never mind. Ready to engage. Regardless, I think here would be fine. Or Overwatch. I don't remember putting Sloter on Overwatch this turn. And she probably just Overwatch. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think he's still burning, though. Because he got... Yeah, he started burning when he moved. So there's a 66% chance he'll just die to fire. That's a good start. Good shot, Zedius. And we're spotted. Reinforcements are coming. And let's get move him right up near Double Snick. Probably. And Crimson, could you please slicey dice Snick? Actually, you could slicey dice. Uh, Archon as well, but the odds are pretty bad. Why can't I click this? A righteous strike. Not too bad. Sheep doesn't actually have a slice at point blank, unfortunately. But we could start with half killing the Archon. Most likely. Uh, Zetius could also park himself next to the Archon. I don't know if it guarantees it's going to do a melee attack or not. Let's do something with Buvin. See how this goes. That's 100% actually. 61% on this guy. 75 if I use Whiplash. It's like a 50 something percent chance to actually kill him. Uh, 65 with Wrath. It's actually about the same. I'll also be flanked. Uh, where is Larius at the moment, though? Larius can't actually get a good shot. Oh, no. Oh, no, I messed up. Uh, well, I can fix it, but it's not great. Because Crimson... Counts as low cover. The snake is not flanked. My mistake. Okay, now we have a 91. Alright, let's kill this thing guaranteed. And we'll try to kill this with Buvim. If not, we'll get it with Larius. That was pretty bad. But that's okay. Uh, how do I... Huh. Line of sight is a bit bad over here. I think I'll just put Larius in the open, but the Archon won't know that. 100%, 100%. I think we'll take the knife and keep the ammo in the gun. Pity we couldn't use Larius for triple reaction fire this turn. Um, yeah, I think we just slicey dice. Ooh, wow. That was better than expected. We could probably finish it off. Uh, I'd like to finish off that officer, though, just to be safe. Oh, Damsel still has one Gren, one Flame Gren. Also, decent aim. Can't get a flank on Officer, though. Hmm. Should I be trying to conserve grenades right now? I don't think so. 
it's literally one damage. Like, there's a 66% chance the officer is just dead. Maybe I should just go for a reaction fire instead. But what if the Archon moves first? Uh, I think we'll just uh, try and finish off the officer. Fantastic. Who's keeping score? Good enough. Damsel, if you please get a elevated Where reaction shot. Hopefully against the reinforcements. 76 to hit Archon could kill it. But if it does melee, that'll work out as well. And one Overwatch from Sloda. Okay. They're dropping almost on top of us. Oh, that's a heavy mech. I think that's the first one we've seen. And it's over to the left as well. Well, that's a decent start. Don't have to worry about the shield bearer, at least. And it does melee. Fantastic. That's what I want to see. Alright. Uh, how do we deal with this mech? It's probably not actually that hard. How many ways do I have to shred armor? It's probably just Damsel. Uh, we've also got Larius with a grenade, but if I could get in range, which I can't. Uh, I could put him in shadow and potentially blue move to here. I'm not sure. May as well try. I was born in the shadows. Nope, it's not that big of a movement buff. Uh, Buvin also has a grenade and has grapple, and can't grapple that close. But let, let's get rid of the uh, Overwatch first, and then we can move a bit more freely. We're definitely killing it this turn, so I don't think I mind leaving Damsel exposed. It's not like there's going to be more reinforcements next turn. That's one shred and one uh, hit point down. Move him, if you please. I wish you could grapple over here and get more shots. But this will probably work. Grapple. Actually, can you just grenade that far? Yeah, you actually can. That is one thing that skill does. Good shot. And then... I think that's the end of our ability to shred armor. Unless I could somehow get Larius over there, which I can't. So... now we just hit it a lot. Oh, I could have done both barrels. Oh well. And how about we get Crimson some XP? A focus strike of power. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, sheep, please pick up Let's the loot. Zedius over Let's here. Larius here over is. here. I can cover it. And sheep over here. Fantastic. And that's the mission. That went extremely well considering what we were up against at first. Very, very lucky that we were able to keep them out of line of sight. I understand. I advance. Packing it in. They found us. Lawless victory. Beautiful. Everyone doing the hands on hips pose. I don't remember this house, but whatever. And 
times now, it's time to get Sigma Beans hacking upgraded. The speaker commended loyal citizens today for standing up to those who would abandon our values for those of the old world. The remarks followed a moment of silence for peacekeepers slain by XCOM dissidents. Another success beyond all expectations. Zetius gets a promotion. Ooh. Plus six aim. And a scope. Events mag's not bad either. Together, we have succeeded in our task. And we get plus one resistance contacts. Commander, oh god. Factions have readied proposals for yes, Central, I know. We should head to the ring to plan our next op. I literally right clicked instead of left clicked for a tenth of a second and the time that passed on the over map on, on the strategic map made central bark at me for not putting someone into covert ops okay so i was considering shredder on zetius if you had more mobility we could just use shredder rounds but you don't. That's a lot of dodge and pretty good aim. Now oh, it's decent aim for a sergeant. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to go with Shredder here. Mayhem is way too situational. Unless you just use suppression all the time, which, no. Deep cover is very, very good in combination with Ever Vigilant, but I really want to save up for Lightning Slash. Then that's it for promotions. Okay then. Um, can we get Sigma Bean to get better at hacking? We can. Um, there's no chance of an ambush with this one, so I might just borrow your gear. Sigma beam. Off you go. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. What have we? Uh, I think we're, we've got enough people healed up now, right? 31 hours on Freeman. 10 days on our Sire. That's it. Cool. Where are we going next? We have a mission cooking. We could maybe have I one more mission preparing. Let's get some intel. This entity is cut of the gods' own cloth. It is as they are. Oh wait, I forgot. I was supposed to be building this. Well, we're still going to need a bunch of intel. I'll stay here until I'm forced to move. Incoming. Fantastic. Uh, what else have we got? Sheep say meh. Time for officer training. And... Should we take jammer or trial by fire? Probably Jammer, we've already got one trial by fire. New Indonesia has a recruit. Uh, where is it? That's not... Yes, it is. Maybe I should try stop, uh, stop trying to recruit quite so much. Let's just do intel here. We need to find missions. Commander, the aliens 
are still moving forward on the Avatar project. Indeed. Taking out that facility would deal a serious blow to their efforts. All right, we have Psyop number two, and no one left that we can train. Cool. Uh, we might be able to train Crimson, but not Crimson. Uh, where is it? Jake Johnson. Uh, once he's healed. My character is already so trained up, I remember you recruiting me last week when my previous character died in a mission. Yeah, uh, we pick up some, like, sergeants and stuff at this stage of the game. So it's not as... I mean, if they were just rookies still, it would be, like, GG. Trialed by fire. Fantastic. Is that all of the training for our shinobis right now, for officers? Should I make Larius an officer? No, I think, um... All too often, Larius has something to do every turn. The reason shinobis are great to have as officers is... Very often you want to hold on to their stealth. As well as they're close enough to lots of people... To give a command. Um, but then again, uh, on ambushes, uh, I think it's fine. You can only have one officer each mission, it'll just give it to the highest ranked one. Alright, remove negative traits, I am the sky, why not? And I think I really do want to build this radio relay. Like that, indeed. We scan. Resistance informant. Retaliations are harder to detect. Lovely. Seven days, zero hours. Uh, very light. We can knock that down to extremely, and we get... Is it nothing but resistance personnel? I mean, we get XP as well, that's not nothing. And some loot, most likely. Is it like two or three people? Bei Chen, Kate, Hunter... Hui Yung Sun. It's three resistance people. Um, I don't know if that's worth queuing up a mission. Especially when we're already... We've already got one queued up with extra people. Got a couple of people wounded still. Well, not that's not that big a deal. Okay, how many people do we have here available? Quite a few, actually. And it's only Advent Strength 4. I just... Uh, okay, if we find something better, we can always cancel... Oh, Undying Loyalty. Enemies randomly come back as Psy Zombies. Um, that does make it a bit more dangerous. So I don't really think this is worth the risk. Yeah, we'll see what the next mission looks like. We get hazmat vests. Sigma Bean gets a stat boost. Fantastic. What's your hacking at now? Uh, 77. Well, it's it's on its way. We should probably look for an easy mission to do the Skulljack, actually. Yeah, let's do that. I'm 
what have we got? Three days, scientist, that's not really going to happen. Uh, very light as well. Even for a sneak mission, it's too late. Extract VIP from Advent City. Is that the one where they start... Okay, um... Depending on how long it takes to infiltrate... We might have a solo mission here for our newest shinobi. One of our troops equipped the skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. Very light. Oof. It is a large map, I think. City center. No, it's not. Hmm. If it was very light. Uh, sorry, extremely light, maximum nine enemies, I would take it in a heartbeat. I don't know if it's worth paying intel for that. We possibly get a scientist when we're this low on intel. And we already have a few scientists. Yeah, no. If it was extremely light, I'd go for it. Alright, let's continue building the radio relay. And I think it's going to be 80 intel to open this area up once we... Smash and grab, but it's too late. Two days, 11 hours. That would have been very worthwhile. Unfortunate. Two days, five hours, liberation, not gonna happen, especially with light. Our inspiration did prove Illyrium, it's basically just a prereq for all this other stuff. Surprisingly expensive for how it is. Uh, coil guns are very, very important though, even though we literally just got a bunch of people equipped with mag guns. Advanced sight and probably a good idea to get. Uh, and we're back to not being able to research things because we don't have supplies. Let's get some data pads decrypted. Hmm. Oh no, how much time did I let pass with no... The one time I would want Central to bug me about it. Okay. That was, what, a couple of days, probably? Uh, what's the most important mission? This is the biggest want. What's the biggest need? Uh, I don't think we desperately need another engineer. Probably couldn't hurt. Tain mech. Steel corpses is actually kind of good right now. We'll get access, we'll most likely get a access to some corpses that we didn't have before because it was kind of early game when we did the HQ invasion. And that's going to enable us to research some stuff. Come to think of it, I don't think there was a single muton in our HQ invasion. Okay, let's go with steel corpses, and after that I want, I definitely want mech, ability points, um, and probably recruit engineer, I think we have time for all of that. Finally, it's time for a mission. Or is it extremely light? Yes, it very much is. I could over-infiltrate for a shorter... Nope, it's a fixed evac. I could not over-infiltrate for a quicker evac flare. Uh, so we don't start with stealth. That's the only downside with this mission. But everything else is 
basically as easy as possible, unless we get very unlucky with which enemies we face. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. an emergency request from the spokesman asking for our help in freeing a VIP sympathetic to the resistance cause. Advent forces are holding the captive somewhere in this area, and we're expecting a steady contingent of reinforcements to back them up. Lock down the area, eliminate all hostiles, uh, what? and secure the there VIP. There we go. Menace 1-5, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. All right. Midden, scouting is all on you. Uh, looks like we're going to have that kind of terrain. At least the evac is fairly close to the target. What type of building is this? I think it's one of the big churches. Yeah, it is. And we're approaching it from the side. I don't think we're going to have anywhere we can really use for elevation. Uh, for Morpheus on the way, except this little thing. We've got our... Uh, we've got our scout starting on the opposite side from where he needs to be, and these three blocking him. That is a little unhelpful. Maybe I should have Morpheus go over here and steady weapon? I could actually have Morpheus get height advantage immediately, with zero actions. But then we're going to be even further away from the evac. Uh, I only want to potentially take that if we get a really, really juicy snipe for it. Should I risk moving someone up a little bit? Shmua does have a uh, low profile, so this would count as heavy cover. Maybe I'm overvaluing Midden's movement if I do that, though. Yeah, like, where would I go if I could move Midden up just a little bit more? Nowhere. I think we'll... Start with this. Been playing Dwarf Fortress. Been having fun with it. I don't see anything yet. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate, in a way. I can handle that. Got it um, let's just put Morpheus here, okay, and go. Steady Weapon. Rorosaur... Probably Got over here. Scanning. And these two, let's be super side. safe. Heading out. And not get ourselves spotted. We see and we hear nothing. Very fun. Nice, nice. Uh, which side of this... There's a lot of obstructions line of sight wise over here. I think I'd like to get Midden to peek on the right side. Oh! I have eyes on the enemy. Well, there we go. Morpheus should have a shot. He does not. I could move him up here. And he wouldn't have cover against a theoretical enemy this way, but um, we could snipe that officer immediately if we want to. Considering we don't have concealment, uh, that is exactly the sort of strategy that we should take advantage of. There's a small chance of one-shotting him. Um, I think if I shoot before I move Midden, Midden might get spotted. This spot's actually pretty cozy. Good copy. Moving on target. And I could move Morpheus forward one tile after the shot. That's only if the target dies. Uh, 
it might be worth just moving over here and getting ready. And we could uh, grapple if we really need to. Also... Yeah, I think we'll try and set up Overwatch against this. Except our range isn't that good. Alright, let's just get in position to maybe do something next turn. That's actually more difficult than it sounds. I don't want Morpheus to fall that far behind. Mm. This cover really sucks. I'd like to get a line of sight on that thing, but I can't really do it right now. Alright. This will have to do. And Shmua. Uh, maybe park yourself over here. Are they not going to move? They are going to move. See a grenadier, a drone. And now we can't see them. And we don't know how close we can get before the drone would spot our shinobi. Um, I could potentially blow up... No, that's not going to work so well. Can't tell where they are. There's only up to nine enemies, we shouldn't be that scared. Also, we have to move forward. What's the best way to say hello to them this turn, though? If Jakubek doesn't move this turn, he's going to get bonus aim. Line of sight isn't very good, though. I think we try moving forward and doing Overwatch. for one more turn, basically. No problem, boss. I'm going. Good to go. And Morpheus. Roundabout. It's all bad, actually. Probably just put, park yourself it? here. Probably should have moved Midden over this way. It'd be a bit risky, actually. Oh, we can see the thing. Deception. 55%, 25%. That's actually huge. Um, the penalty for failing is reinforcements, though. But gaining control of random enemies. Or a random enemy, I guess. If that was more enemies, it might be worth trying. But two turns, four turns... There's no way. We'd go for the 55% instead. Oh, they're in that direction as well. Here we go. That's a decent start. Oh, that was on the drone, though. Oh, it's on one health, though, even though it has lots of armor. Armor doesn't matter. Alright, that was... Could have been worse. A little bit mediocre. We can rocket them. This might be the best rocket we're going to get this mission. Since they, uh... Since we don't have stealth, except on midden. Morpheus has 100% on the drone. That's not very exciting. 99% on Grenadier, only 74% on 
officer. Um, I think we should indeed use our rocket here. Fantastic. Now the officer is blanked. Now we can't see him. Morpheus can no longer see this officer who's on the same tile. Uh, because he's not peeking out to the left, I'm guessing. Welp. Uh, I'm sure we have enough shots, though, to finish him off. I got double 77%. If he gets, like, grazed, we're gonna gain aim because of Executioner. Uh, 72 on this guy. 78 for a little scratch with the laser. I think that's a good place to start. Shmua, if you please. Don't bother wasting a grenade on this guy. Perfect. That's actually the... Literally the best I could have hoped for, realistically. Uh, and then we have a 97% to finish him off because of Executioner. Perfect. Alright, let's go see what we can find with Midden. And we see nothing. Can I get over here? Apparently not. Not without setting myself on fire. I could be a little greedy and pick this up this time. Considering where my movement options are, that doesn't actually seem like that bad of an idea. Especially with this uh, obstruction on the left. Alright, Jakubek. You might find yourself being a little bit on fire soon if you move over there. Who can move? Jakubek, Anoised, and Morpheus. I definitely want to move Morpheus this turn. Uh, I want to get him in range to potentially grapple up here. That's going to give him a lot more options. Next turn. Um, I don't really want the group getting spotted next turn. So let's not go too far. And I'll move... Jacko back up a little bit as well. Alright, now we have all our actions back. We can start doing things. Let's get Midden over here for some vision. There's a drone. I don't think we have line of sight. We do have line of sight to it. Morpheus? 78%. But a regular hit would kill it. As long as it's not a graze. I don't really feel like this is the use case for the drone. Actually, it would give me uh, cover in that direction. And we would get steady weapon afterwards. Because death from above. Yeah, this is fine. And we get to move forward. As long as we don't see something on the left, and even if we did, we could move. 100%. Fantastic. And I will almost definitely have you steady weapon. Um, let's get Rorosaur up to this heavy cover. Jakubek. Probably also up to this heavy cover. Noised. Um, probably get you to overwatch there as well. Shmua. I wanted to put someone up here because there's not likely to be anything here, but the angle of the cover is rather awkward. And Morpheus, steady weapon, if you please. I hear a door. It's probably in here. Um, I don't 
think I can see well enough. Actually, because of that yellow line, I think I can tell that this... No. I don't know. No, I don't... I don't think I can tell which door was opened. Um, let's get Midden to have a peek over here. Should probably see some enemies. Nope. Um, it's a little risky, but let's have a peek up this way. Okay. I think we're all going to be able to move up as far as possible without finding anything this turn. If we go left, we have to go pretty far before we can get up on the roof or have other options. So I think we'll head everyone toward, toward that door. I'm tempted to go for the deception. If we're not going to see enemies this turn otherwise, then reinforcements dropping in, we could probably just kill them all with Overwatch for the most part. Okay, what if I hack this and fail? Then Overwatch, move Overwatch, uh, dash Overwatch, Overwatch. It's probably fine. The worst case is we fail the hack, they get reinforcements, and we don't see the reinforcements. But I think they probably come in close every time. Let's try it. Uh oh. It does say specifically reinforcements coming down on our position. I don't know if that necessarily means right here. Jackabek, up here please. Orpheus, Overwatch. And Shmua, move forward Overwatch. Is that the reinforcements? Or oh, hello. Nope, we found them. Okay, that... Really? Wow. Um... Okay, that's something at least. Out of five Overwatch shots, we dealt two damage. And I hear snakes. I believe they're in here. I see the door is open. Well, that door may have been the one we heard opened before. Um, I'll probably set fire to this guy with a grenade. The shield bearer is a bit of a problem. 65% on officer. Could be worse, could be better. I can actually walk right up to the officer. Or just stay here and set him on fire. That's a 75% chance to set him on fire. I'd really like to know where those snakes are. I could flesh officer 100% to almost kill him, potentially. Probably kill him with the blade storm. That shield bearer is a bit of a problem. I think we know where they are. Yeah, that's where it sounded like. So we'll probably have to meet those snakes next turn. I can get a flank on the officer. Uh, why don't we just try setting both of these guys on fire? They won't last long. 
that's good. Probably could have reloaded, whoops. And... Shmua, probably stay right where you are. And greet this guy warmly. You're gonna have to move, actually. Oh, no, I could do it here, but... We do have tandem warheads, so yeah, that would deal full damage. And bonus points if we want to walk up into his face to point blank him. Uh, we can still do that. He's not on fire though. Whatever you say. 100%. Cool. Please don't get set on fire next turn. Morpheus, I would like you to reload and steady. Wait, what? He's still alive? Oh. Wow. Okay, can we maybe command someone to finish him? Or should we just hope that he gets set on fire when he runs away? I've also got Jackaback, who I sort of forgot about because he's not in a very good position to attack either of these two. Um, I would like to hit the snakes at point blank if I can. So let's jump down here. We've got an enemy squad Indeed here. we have... I think it was Snake, Rocketeer, and maybe Officer. Uh, but what I want to try doing here is putting Jackabek at the door on reaction fire. And next turn we might both barrel something. And I'll probably keep Midden here as well. We'll get a reaction shot and a blade storm, potentially. Alright, officer is dead 66% next turn. Even if we don't hit him. And fantastic. Heal bear is burning. Lucky ish. Rip loot. Uh, they didn't come through the door. I think they didn't move actually. I could put Jacobek on reaction fire and open the door with Midden. See where they go. But I don't think I'd be able to do much with the rest of the squad against that group. Um, so why don't we just guarantee officers dead this turn? And we'll get Rorosaur nice and close. Morpheus is already. Ready to fire. Um, I guess Rorosaur is going to have to go here. If he's going to have cover. I think I'd rather get him close up so we can use his flamethrower next turn. Instead of valuing the one reaction shot too highly. We know they're inside. I think... We can put him up here and we'll have more options. Probably. Um, noised is rather slow, unfortunately. I'm going to have to dash him up even without reloading. And these two... Just... Bad to fire. Is Morpheus going to get a shot? Um, it's possible. Shield bear is dead. What the... Okay, that was scary. Morpheus, you might want to move. But first... Do I want to put Jacker back on reaction fire? Probably yes. I think I value that more than... 
the point blank that we might not get, depending on where they go. Especially with Rorosaur with the flamethrower, we're able to get in here. All right, let's Overwatch. Overwatch. Let's open the door. That was a miss. We can flame two of them at least. I could actually slice this guy before doing a flesh. AI mixes. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, if I flesh Snick, it's definitely going to still be alive. But it's a start. Uh, Rorosaur could burn these two. But it kind of... We may as well slash with uh, Midden. Well, it might not kill him outright. Let's just try it. Never mind. And then flesh or four to six on this guy, or five to seven on this guy. Pierce's armor, though. Uh, let's put Rorosaur down here. If I flesh the snake, I'm ninety. 7,000% sure it's going to uh, curl up next turn if it's still alive. So I think we try to set the shield bearer on fire. So let's go over here. Rosal, if you please. Fantastic. And then we actually broke a hole through it, kind of, but nothing we can use yet. Um, I can also go over here at point blank. I don't even have a shot with Croised this turn because we haven't had time to reload. Let's just hack the objective instead. And it's about time to move Morpheus forward. Superior PCS. The odds are way too low and we do need intel. I would have actually got it to... Oh, you can see where the odds are if you mouse over that. I never noticed. Alright, that's our uh, VIP. It's actually just the door open. Well, it's unlocked, it's not open. If I put people next to each other, I think the snake might use poison. So I want to be a little bit careful with Shmua and Morpheus. Get up there. Okay, snake's gonna curl up. Nope, uh oh. Well, that was lucky, even if it did have red fog. Shield bearer can't do anything because he's on fire. Um, and we slicey dice snake. It could graze, but other than that, there's like a 20% graze. Other than that, it's a guaranteed kill. Fantastic. I thought I heard footsteps over here. We might be close to some other enemies. Aurorasaur, if you please. Oh, that door is open. We might spot them. Uh, I guess this is a little bit safer. Sure thing. And kill it. Or just put it low enough to die. It's 66% dead next turn. From that. Um, do I want to count on that? Probably not. I definitely want to reload with Croized. Reaction fire from here probably won't do anything. 
Morpheus could grapple. I think I'd like to move Morpheus up. Uh, steady weapon and potentially grapple and shoot next turn. I think I probably should go to the trouble of executing... You say. Shield bearer. You know that was good. And as for Croyzed... You're so slow, I should probably move you closer Not to really the left. evac even now. And Shmua, over here, please. Alright, so we've killed what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, including the reinforcements. There's probably three enemies left. Um, who's got the best mobility here? Jakobek, by far. Let's get Jakobek to no problem, open the door. We've got the VIP in tow. And VIP can't get out just yet. Um, I can get VIP in position to get out, but probably get revealed if there's something up here. Midden would probably be able to slash. And then be exposed. Morpheus could probably shoot, actually. Uh, I think it might be worth trying. We'll use an action on our VIP to scout. I wish I could measure whether the VIP can get out next turn, though, from here. Only 12 mobility? Uh, I think so? Let's move one tile for, uh, further forward. Okay. I'll put Midden at the door. On the move. And Overwatch. Uh, we know we can go here with Rorosaur. Jakobek. Wouldn't have cover up here. I'm going. I think Jakobek could probably sprint out from there. And as for these two, or three rather. It's a little sketchy if I bring Morpheus up here to steady, because he could get flanked. Oh, we can actually see that far? It's probably fine. Where can you grapple to from here? Nowhere, as it turns out. Hmm... I think we can be fairly confident we're not going to see anything here. Overwatch. And Shmua can already almost sprint out, so let's just put you here. You see nothing? Let's get our VIP to dash to the evac. Uh, preferably covering some extra ground over here so that if there's enemies that could see him, we find out where they are. We found them. Nope, wait. We have civilians panicking. We might not have found them. We see a nothing. Midden actually can't quite get out. I'm a little surprised. Uh, Rorosaur can get out. Jakobek can get out. Knoised can get out. Shmura can get out. Morpheus can get out. So let's just get Midden in position. I can handle that. And we'll overwatch. Should be able to do it from the ladder. On your order. On Overwatch. Got it covered. I'm on it. Quiet. And you that's the something? turn. They're bringing in reinforcements. All right. 
that's it. We're out of here. Good to go. I'm all over it. Ten more. Good you guys. Don't misclick. Go, go, go. Is that in the evac? Uh I think so, yes. Fantastic. Beautiful. Apparently there's only one enemy left. Advent officials revealed today's maneuver by local peacekeepers was a planned exercise. Citizens should not be alarmed. All weapon fire and wounds were simulated to better train Advent forces. The flames, explosions and destroyed terrain was simulated. Superior defense, it's okay, I guess. Uh, and we get an engineer, that's nice. Uh, I think... Well, we don't strictly need the power just yet. Let's finish this off. Uh, apparently I, s like, swapped the wrong one here. There we go. Four days until our covert op is done... How's our side person? Four days until... Everything's four days. Three or four days. That's a photo and a half. That one's actually really good for once. Okay. What's next? We get supplies. Yes, please. Avenger plotting new course. I like supplies. I haven't talked to the black market for a little bit. What do we got? Two days, 13 hours. Not gonna happen. Definitely not. Strategic resource and we get 96. Damn, that's actually really good. Let's go talk to the black market. Okay. They're very interested in hyper-reactive pupils. I will absolutely sell that. And regular autoloaders? Uh, I think an autoloader is better than 10 supplies, usually. Especially when we don't have many advanced or elite ones. Yeah, I'll definitely sell the hyper-reactive pupils. We're down to our last data pad that we're breaking down, or about to. I could buy an assault of gunner sergeant. That's not going to happen. PCS advanced hacking. It's only thirty supplies for advanced hacking. Um, yeah, I'll take it. We really need at least one really good hacker. There's also perception, um, but that's just like plus four aim or something, plus three. Emergency life support, 30 is a bit much. Seventy supplies for a data pad, damn. Nope, I think that's everything we're buying. Okay. Uh, we don't have any missions queued up right now. I guess we'll keep looking. And... Breeding Ground project's about to be finished. For the Indonesian zone. Flame bombing the building. We just getting started, indeed. <laughs> the what's up? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We finally have alloy plating in September. That's a little embarrassing. 
Um, but we're going to be able to give everyone an extra hit point now. That's good. Are we still doing Proving Ground stuff? Yes, we are. You have 25 corpses. They sell for five each. Isn't that free money? Which corpses? If you mean troopers, uh, those are what we need for the alloy plating. I don't want to have any shortage of that. Five each? That's only 125 supplies. Uh, Sheep Saymare just finished. I think it was officer training. We've got Midden. And take Incoming. And... 20 hours until we can hopefully, not necessarily, uh, level up our Psy operative. They only had one mission. I'd be surprised. Greater Faceless. Isn't this at the same time that we've got uh, random facelesses in missions to deal with? No, I think that one expired. Okay. Like how you can just place any amount of plating you want with no negative effects? Any amount of plating? What do you mean by that? Or what do you mean by I no negative effects? We might as well keep it up, Commander. Fantastic. What did we get? Oh, I could have read it with the scrolling text. Whoops. But I saw that we got some purifier corpses, so that's not nothing. Uh, we've got a mech we can break down. It's about time. Um... I think we'll... I'll let the datapad decryption get done first. While most of my involvement in the chip development process was on the theoretical side, I can't help but feel some degree of responsibility for the final product as we see it in use today. When intent was Ooh. focused on a singular aspect of a project, in my case, countering the body's rejection of the implanted chip, sometimes it's easy to avoid seeing the bigger picture. To this day, we got nine Viper corpses. Whether it was willful ignorance or unbridled oh, corpses that led me to blindly pursue my research with such zeal. Hey, Commander. Uh, yeah, we got uh, two Stun Lancer corpses. We can finally stop sharing the one sword across all of our shinobis. Right when we're getting close to the point where we could get plasma swords, almost. Uh. Four officers, a priest, two pu uh, one purifier, actually. That's one more flame grenade. Which, considering the number of uh, grenadiers we've got, is actually quite good. Or I could get, like, Boovim or Larius to carry a grenade, flame grenade. Hello plating and its ilk allow you to add multiple to the same soldier? No? Here, I'll show you. We can add... Alloy plating. Or ceramic plating. We can't add both. We can have one type of vest. So we can't have nanoscale and... Hazmat vest. And each of them costs one mobility. Not to mention... The inventory slot itself. So... You can hardly say that we can just stack them infinitely for free. Uh, what do we have here? Training Center, Improved Bond, Boovim, and Crimson. That might be worth the time. We've got nothing pressing happening right now. Hopefully we don't get another... crazy event the moment that they're unavailable. And then we need to do... I want resistance mech. I want ability points. The rest isn't that good and or can wait. 
One more engineer is not going to be that amazing right now. So it's really the mech and the ability points that I want the most. What's the date? 2nd of September. Uh, when is the supply drop? Five days. I think we're running out of time. Um, how long is this? Four days? Without a squad mate bond buff? And four days. So we can probably do these two. I'll start with the one that has fewer soldiers because the ambush chance is going to be higher next time. Um, who's bonded to whom? Midden? Midden is busy, I think. Incoming training. Yatuwatu? Sloda and Yatuwatu. That might not be the worst idea. So that's only three days. Let's check your loadout. You've got the mag shorty. Perfect. Let's give you the good plating. And Yatuwatu, where's your shard gun? Who stole the shard gun? There it is. And some armor. Okay, let me just load these guys up. Sloder. First we need to make some... What can I do for you, Commander? Alloy plating. Plus one hit point. And you're already carrying decent stuff. Yatu Watu? I want it. I kind of want to give Yatu a spider suit, but I don't want one of our precious few spider suits to be unavailable for what will likely not be an actual mission. Uh, let's give you a laser sight. Apparently there's none available. There we go. Not an advanced autoloader. We don't need that on the shotgun. That seems fine. Hopefully you won't actually be needing this gear right now. I did give you alloy, yes. Fantastic. Alright. Obtain mech. Uh, slow it. Up to... What to? Off you go. Three days. Covert is our specialty. Just hope your people can and we'll up. be able to start one more before everything rolls over. Okay, one hour until training is done. And then... What do we have here? No more shinobis. Fantastic. And apparently we're out of rookies to train. Our near newest gunner has 68 aim. That's not the worst. 15 mobility, 5 health, 9 dodge. Very good. What do we have down here? Reposition after a standard shot at a flank to expose target. Not bad. Average combat intelligence. Not bad. Run and gun. Hunter's Instincts, uh, that's not bad, but 40 ability points, that's kind of crazy. Deep Cover, that's a really, really, really good one for how cheap it is. Alright, not bad. Probably just do like a standard gunner for this one. And by six hours until our psyop is ready to go. All right, let's look for a mission. Let's finish this scan. 
said that in the wrong order. Uh, five days, 15 hours, resistance personnel times one, two, one rookie, three, four, five. Uh, that's not bad. Five days, 15 hours light. I might have to boost it. Undying loyalty, though. Uh, at least we don't have... At least we don't have no stealth anymore. Operation Blood Knife. Alright, let's have a look. Commander Tygen and oh my goodness. Central stop. Stop. We should have one of our Central stop. It before they deploy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five resistance personnel and one rookie. That's not bad. But we're probably going to have to boost it. And it's not like we get a... get any of our intel back. Uh, it would boost down to very light. Or maybe just barely extremely light if we give them suppressors as well. Three days, 18 hours. How many resistance personnel do we have in this region? Apparently we just finished the tower. Signal's coming through clear. Fantastic. Uh, we've only got four. That makes it pretty damn tempting, actually. Where's the mission gone? There it is. Commander, we'll need to have Shut one up, Central. The skull jack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. Okay. Um, so we do have concealed start. Maybe I should try taking tumbles this time. Our premier flamer. Sigma bean for the hacks. Uh, grenadier. And a ranger. Oh. That's already extremely light with a boost. Alright. Apparently we don't have another gauntlet. How much supply do I have? 118. 30 for Gauntlet Mark II. Or maybe I could just... make weapons available? Yeah. And we'll give Tumbles the plating. And armor. Advanced Suppressor. To reduce the... Infiltration time. Oh, 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 Larius. The time has come. Temnotic rifle. 50 supplies, though, damn. But we go from 4 to 7 damage to 5 to 9. I mean, it's the same damage as a. Uh, as a regular rifle, but obviously the range and accuracy are a little bit better. Let's go with a scope, fence suppressor, and probably a hair trigger. Elite hair trigger, since you can triple reaction fire. You're the only one so far. Let's make it about the same color as these uh, clothes, shall we? Okay. Tumbles, since you are a flamer, take a hazmat suit. And you need, kind of need the health anyway. Jacobek, have some... Advanced, Hair Trigger, and Crit. 
And advanced expanded mag would be good too. Maybe this is the mission to do the uh, Skulljack, actually. If we boost it down to uh, extremely light, it's not going to get much safer than now. Can we get a gremlin? We need three alien alloys. Ah. <sighs> gonna have to break something down for the alloys. All right, let's grab ourselves an incendiary grenade, an advanced grenade launcher, some regular grins, and flashbang, and definitely some armor. How much health do you have? 10 plus 1. Hmm. I th think it's worth evaluing the extra, extra grenade. I could give him plus health conditioning. Oh, and there's our advanced hacking. Or Sigma Bean. 77 hacking becomes 88. Now we're talking. Now we're getting somewhere. Um, alright. Probably should make some more stutter mags. What do they cost? 30? It's a bit more than I thought. I think we'll just keep the laser Sten gun Freeman. We do need advanced suppressor. And advanced suppressor. Alright, so that puts us up to 154%. Uh, what else? A little bit of basic laser sight and cheap autoloader. On the SMGs. Larius, I'd rather you have the mobility than a single frag grenade. Although... To be honest, I kind of want to try the incendiary grenade. No, I'll try it on Boovim. Next chance we get. We should also get a better throwing knife. How much is that? Oh, I see it. 25 supplies, that's not that much. But we are out of our precious alloys. Two to three damage becomes four to six, that's kind of a big deal. Okay. I think that is the squad. Uh, we have some AP. One more, one more promotion for Jacobek. Then we have rapid reaction with Predator. Very, very cool. It's almost, it's going to be almost impossible, except when they have like lightning reflexes or something, for Jacobek to miss a reaction shot. What do we have here? Sixteen AP. And nothing very exciting to use it on. Okay. I do want to give Sigma Bean pistol skills eventually. So we can use the red screen rounds with lightning hands. Uh, yeah, I think that is the loadout. Alright, 
Let's go. next good question is our Sai up healed yes can we train them nope okay kind of expected that should find an excuse to use them get him leveled up all right uh we have we need 80 intel. That's three more. But I need to spend 25 intel on that mission. Setting course for the Arctic so we need territory. like 30 more? 28 to be precise. Datapad decryption is just about done though. Three days, 16 hours, extremely light. Recover item from train. Start liberating. Automated defenses, faceless infiltrators. We're not doing that. Not even with a sneak mission. I have made a number of interesting. Twenty-four intel. What a tease! All right, it's time for the mech breakdown. We've still got one data pad to break down as well, but this only takes three days. These robotic units, developed by Advent, seem to be wholly autonomous, capable of targeting and engaging selected units without reliance on external verification. Although it falls on me to work through the initial disassembly, I fully intend on involving Shen in this process, as her knowledge of robotics far outweighs my own. Indeed. After that, we should be able to get a better... Um... Chosen warlock is without question the most loyal of the elders' children. In his many verbose orations, the warlock has made it clear that he will make us pay for our defiance. We've actually already got Gremlin truth, Mark II. I suspect prolonged. We just need alloys. Exceedingly high amounts of psionic energy. Oh, it was the drones that we had to break down for this. I think. I can't remember what we get from the mech I'd breakdown. I'd like to get a better look at that rifle the chosen hunter uses. There's just no way he can be that accurate. In that case, some kind of uh, what do we break down for alloys? Drone wrecks, only two alloys. Troopers give us two alloys. That's definitely more value than five uh, supplies by a lot. We're not rendering a stun lancer corpse for three alloys. Are you joking? Turret wreck, three alloys. We've got a few officers spare. That's three alloys each. I think we've got like four of those. Ragamuffin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I want to join the squad. Okie dokie. Uh, let me just read this real quick. I think we have a bunch of vipers. That's three alloys each. We'll probably render some vipers. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. In a little bit. Uh, let's see. A Viper Corpse. We've got nine. Um, I wish it would tell us somewhere everything that they're used for, though. We've got four officers, 20 troopers. I mean, most of those I want to use to make... Um, I, I want at least, like... 12 or 15 alloy platings so that we can have it on everyone uh, when as many people as possible are deployed uh, but yeah I think vipers we've probably done everything we need to with them for the most part okay uh, let's see ragamuffin we've got a Psy operative, two Psy operatives actually, that we haven't uh, named yet. We've got a Squatty Shinobi, Squatty Gunner, Squatty Specialist, Squatty Sharpshooter. Wow, Squatty Sharpshooter with 82 aim. That's not bad. Contrast that with Myclat. Myclat has 66 aim. Any snipers? Yes. 
Uh, we've only got one new sniper who... Uh, we've got one unnamed sniper that we haven't leveled up yet, but... Uh, well, the extra skills... I could make this one a snapshot. Reduces the aim penalty for short-range sniper rifle shots by 67%. Only got 14 mobility, though. We could maybe make it a snapshot with a spider suit. Hmm. Regardless, uh, very good aim. Just nothing very exciting in the bonus skills. Uh, but yeah, did you still want the sniper even though it's a squatty? We don't really have an, anyone high ranked. It's literally all squatties actually, who aren't named yet. So yeah, we'll give you the sniper. Alright. Ragamuffin? Uh, any requests for appearance or anything like that? Big afro. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, head, hair, afro. Fantastic. Wait, do we get a bigger afro if it's male? Or was that my imagination? Oh, I can't see the afro immediately here. Let's find out. It's going to be harder to compare it, but I could have sworn the afro... No, I think it's probably the exact same afro. Is that it? I'll probably put you in as a Haven Advisor. Uh, let's see. Wait, I might have forgotten to put in a bunch of Haven Advisors a while ago. And Goatee, or whatever you call it. Goatee? Fast Mines. Lower f oh, here we go. That is a goatee, according to the game. Or are we looking for... Goatee and moustache? Uh, but yeah, let me check on Haven Advisors. I think I've been... I think I've been neglecting it. We've got one Haven ad advisor missing. Put you in there for now. Ragamuffin. Fantastic. Oh, I should have a spare laser rifle. I don't want to use those with our two main snipers, so you can take that. And we'll give you a stop. And that's about it, really. Perfect. Alrighty then. Just mark your name off the list. There we go. And then... Um, and then I think we've got nothing to do for a second. Zero wounded. What a beautiful sight. Uh, November, September 4th, not such a beautiful sight. Alright, we desperately need intel. Oh, we got some. I'll have 20 left. I need to boost this, so we really need to get another, like, 5 intel. Before I open up that region. Three days, 17 hours... Seize resources, resources, but it's it's light and it's three days, seventeen hours. That's not going to happen. What do we have? Nine days, nine hours. Smash and grab sounds too good to be true, but nine days, fifteen. Extract VIP scientist. 
It does have the Undying Loyalty sit wrap. Other than that, this mission couldn't be easier on paper. Um, then we've got Advent Strength 5 up here now. Advent Strength 1 down here. We definitely need the Smash and Grab. Undying Loyalty is a little scary. But uh, what are you going to do? We've literally already sent the Skulljack out central. Shut. Shut. Okay. Alright. I am the Sky, perhaps. And what about our snipers? Morpheus? Uh, is a slow sniper a good idea for a smash and grab? With a... Spider suit? Possibly. Rorosaur. Shmua. And Zedius. We could go one more and probably still get extremely light. Nope, that's very light. I'm not going to spend intel on this one. Is it too greedy to hope to get Lightning Slash? Probably. Ever Vigilant Deep Cover is really, really good. But so is Lightning Slash. Like, really good. It's a single action to stab something within blue movement range. crazy. But I would have to spend two-thirds of our shared AP to get it. There's definitely better things we could do that with that. We can spend more shared AP on this later, and we'll have more AP after you level up. Let's get the deep cover. And I don't think anyone else has points to spend. Really? Dedication? I'd have to spend 8 shared AP, but gaining 2 movement and re ignore reaction fire on a sword user, that's actually kind of huge. I think I will take that early with I Am The Sky. Let's get some alloys. Uh, some... Oh no, you're kidding. I need alien alloys to make the alloy plating. Oh no. Uh, I guess we're using ceramic plating for now. Unless? Nope, that's it. Grab a decent sword at least. Could I make a hazmat suit? Nope. Okay. It just underlines how badly we need this uh, supply run. Armor. Fantastic. Okay. We need some scope. And. Probably hair trigger. And about auto loader. Shmoa can have the usual for an SMG. Same for I am the sky. Uh, mag cannon, we're obviously we're going to want some accuracy, and a big ol' reload, and Morpheus, I want you to have the elite stock, the scope, and 
Probably an auto loader. That's gonna have to be it. Okay. That's the mission. Sky Ranger deep minutes ready to deploy. Can we do this one as well? We may as well have a look. Setting course for Sector 5, India. At the very least, we could try it as a sneak mission. Extract from Advent City, uh, fixed evac reveals start. So, oh, I forgot to check as well. Oh, Sloda and Yato are back. Fantastic. And Yato's promoted. Very good. Yatu Watu. Remote. And we get formidable. Not that exciting, but very good to just be that much less likely to take an actual wound. It also reduces explosive damage. That is not nothing. Okay, uh, and we need to throw someone into the resistance ring. We're just about to get our supply drop, so this is our last chance to do any of these. I'm pretty sure I'm going for the ability points, actually. We need some broken OP soldiers. I guess I'll send these two again. And I need to send someone else. Uh, how about one of our Psy operatives? Why not? Can't really spare the armor right now. I guess I could make one more armor. It's only a 26% chance that they get ambushed, and I could keep this one at the back regardless. 30% failure though? What if I send the highest ranking person I can? 14%. Okay, that's kind of a big deal. Um, what kind of skills does Zikra have? Can't see from here. Could send Ragnar for double assault. Same rank. I'm thinking a shinobi would be better though. Let's send sheep. Especially if we can't spare the armor, you can be a scout. Okay. Failure 14%. I can... I can live with that only if it doesn't report failure. Alright. I'm feeling pretty skeptical about whether we can really put anyone else on this other mission. Well, we can't spare... We can't spare equipment, but we can definitely spare a sneak. Tigan and Shen aren't going to be happy if we don't put the skull jack to good so we're gonna take our lowest ranked Shinobi and just send them on their merry way no armor maximum mobility only one person with concealment I could send two Shinobis we'd still get extremely light and our ability to scout would be significantly improved. The only downside is we wouldn't have a shinobi for another mission, but we're already like full up, so I think that's fine.
Mannequin doesn't have that much mobility, though. Not ideal for this, but you're the only one available. Alright. Off you go, try and escort a s uh, scientist with some improper stealthing in the middle of the street. We have 104 intel now. Um, we need literally like one more intel to boost this. I think if I just go straight to making contact here, we should have that one intel before we need the boost. Three days. You know what? I, why trust it? Let's just make sure. Alright, there's our intel. And something... Someone was recruited to East Asia. Uh, I think we've got enough recruits now. Let's get some... Supplies coming in. I think this region has enough people. That'll do. And yet another mission. One day, 12 hours. Never going to happen. Let's make contact. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Down we go. Four days, nine hours. Hack. Light. Not going to happen. We can't afford to boost it. Even if we could, it might be close. Local Four days, contact. 12 hours, scientist, vehicle, light, not going to happen. Uh, needle rounds, one of my favorite. Very, very good for how uh, cheap, how attainable it is. Uh, it's, I believe, plus one damage at least, Hello, and situationally plus two damage. Let's see. Needle rounds. Plus two damage to non-robotic. Plus one damage to everything. That's pretty good. Do you ever regret leaving the city? Honestly, none of that really bothers me. What I miss the most is my equipment. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Advent probably had a pretty nice lab set up for you. There was certainly no shortage of resources on their side. Don't worry. I'm sure the commander will find something nice for you. Incoming message for you, commander. That's a lot of talking. Get through to your quarters now. You have made considerable progress against All right. the aliens over the past month. Over th there was three avatar progress in the one month. Lead to further success. Raising attacks are upgraded to normal hits on the warlock. Overkill. Okay, so you've got like. Bonus damage to finish something off. Whoops, I didn't mean to skip that. That was probably bad. Alright, let's go get our supplies. Actually, I should probably finish this first. Three days, though? I think we should probably grab our supplies first. Yet another mission. Eight days, 18 hours. Light, intel, intel package. That's good, we just can't spare the people right now. I think you or the people with equipment. Advent has legions of these Hello, target a Mark II blue screen this. protocol. That's not as as that I exciting. Tell, they're fully automated and armed to the teeth. I've never really bothered with the hollow targeters very much. Uh, we don't have any real research left. Let's break down our last data pad. Actually, I really want those alloys um, before we do. Let's break down Snek. Can, can I hey, see what I'm... 
for a whopping three alloys each. I will send word as soon Nothing as we have something it. of note. All right, that's our supplies. Let's finish Ready making contact. For the Australian sector. We can at least get some more equipment now. Actually, maybe I should be gearing up this mission up here, for example. That's Advent Strength 5. Was there one? Our actions have succeeded, and, and the elders grow fearful. It did fail, even though it, they said it was succeeded. Bruh. 14% has presented itself and my followers are eager to proceed. Counter chosen activity, that's kind of compulsory. Intense training mobility plus one, I really don't want to miss that. Certain soldiers could benefit a lot from one more mobility. Supplies, rebels, mech. Ability points, of course. Corpses, bond, ability points. Alright, the really important stuff is down the bottom here. Engineer, scientist, training, chosen activity. Costs 5 AP. I forgot about that. Um, but it's still worth. Uh, but yeah, let's probably counter chosen activity first. Um, there's practically no one available. Even 28 hours. I could grab Glacier? Out of Haven? Who else is going to go in there? How about Ragnar? It's probably fine. Alright, counter chosen activity. You three. Get in there. Do you have a good weapon? You do not. I'm thinking you can just take a laser cannon for this one. Probably fine. Failure seventeen percent. Yeah, right. The covert action immediately, Commander. All right, two hours until we get a, a whole three alloys. Not think I could have predicted this outcome. Do it again. It is intriguing. And Commander. now we can actually get some items. It's five alloys for one predator armor. So we need basically two snakes for every predator armor. That's a lot. Oh, here we go. Three hours until must launch. We need to boost this one. I mean, technically we don't necessarily need to, but I don't trust it if we don't. Up to 12 enemies with five people. It's not the best possible team comp either. Definitely want to make sure we don't fail this one. It's a lot of resistance personnel for one mission. Taking a little while to load. I think it might have said it's a large map. We also have to worry about the uh, 
The enemy's coming back as zombies. So we definitely don't want to deal with 12 enemies. In fact, we want to do this as guerrilla as possible. We're not trying to kill everything on the map. We should get, I think it's like plus 2 AP for a difficult mission if we win. Uh, I think the amount actually depends on... Uh, what type of difficult mission it is. We see nothing. This is actually the edge of the map over here. Um, where's the evac? Oh, no. Oh, wow. That is... That's a lot. Okay. Um, I want to get Jack back up here, but first I would like to get some more vision over this way. I don't think that's going to get us the line of sight that I'm hoping for. Oh, we do see a little bit down there, but yeah, not that much. Uh, what if I send tumbling over here, then the drone could come from this way. How about this? That's not too bad. Larius? How about... How about up here? I can cover it. Oh, we see something. I found their patrol. We've got a priest with 14 hit points, and there was something here. I didn't quite get a look at it. Oh yeah, Sigma Bean has the Skulljack. I kind of forgot about the whole undying loyalty thing and thought this might be a good opportunity. But really, it's not likely that we're going to have a good moment to use the Skulljack. Especially if the, uh, the codex splitting can summon two zombies after it dies. Oh, that's awkward. There's a drone right behind us. Looks like we're okay, though. I could hack it to death. I don't know if the damage it takes from Trojan is going to alert the enemies. Uh, but it looks like we can't get line of sight on it with a blue move anyway. So, it's a moot point. Let's have a look up this way with tumbling. Seems good. Probably park ourselves over here. We still see nothing. Sigma Bean, over Let's here, please. This. We see something. There's an advent captain nearby. We should attempt to disable it with the Skulljack. We might do that if everything goes just perfectly. Let's do this. Very big if. We do soon. not want to fight this mission. Focus. In so far as we can avoid it. We don't even have the uh, skull mining, so Sigma having that skull jack is actually just dead weight if we don't get this done. Okay, we're at least almost at the point. Civilians are standing in the way of the ladder. Oh, that's rude. We're gonna have to go around. All right, we've seen what one, two, three, four, five enemies. That's about half the map. Um, I should be able to get Chaco back to this corner. 
without getting spotted, but it depends what's over here. Let's have a look over that way with tumbling. And it looks like we're fine. Probably safer to put tumbling there, actually. With the flamethrower. If we if something comes around this corner, we could potentially get a flamethrower ambush. Alright. Let's move everyone up. Confirmed. I understand. A little bit risky, but we need to keep moving. Oh, we see people through the wall. There's a berserker. That's not a bug, that's a skill from the Reaper. Another drone. Thankfully, pretty uh... far away. Alright, um, Jack Quebec, have a peek Move over here, tuck yourself in over here with Overwatch at the end of the turn. Uh, if we had Ghost Walker, someone could squeeze by on this side. Alas, we do not. Tumbling... Probably get in this corner as well. Something could come from over here, but I don't think it's too likely. Sigma Bean, I would also like to get you as close as possible to hacking that next turn or the turn after. Good to go. Larius. Covering ground. And kind the of good stupid. doctor. We hear the drone. We open the door. Uh, for some reason we still see them in, like... There we go. It is a berserker. Um, how close can I get tumbling? Pretty close, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a little risky for the people we're trying to get out. I could set these two on fire with one flamethrower if I really wanted to, but it's not even that good of an ambush. Um, let's have a peek in here. We see nothing. Let's just get everyone in as close as possible. Wait, do these guys move? Theoretically. Short. I don't think they're going to move around. I could be wrong. Roger that. Larius, I'd love to get you to have a triple reaction shot. Even though there's only two targets. Sigma Bean... Over here. We can hack the door. I think we can hack it without getting... Revealed, actually. Large alien alloy cache, 74%. Ooh, I need that. I must have it. Okay. Uh... I think we'll just park Larius over here. Reposition. This turn. I won't let them past. And can't really get a shot. We'll just move Freeman in here. Take the feeling that I'm going the wrong way again. I'm on it. Eyes on the prize. Yeah, it looks like they're not moving. So who's got double shots? Only Jacobek, I think. Think. Wait, do we have anyone who can deal with the Berserker in particular? Not really. We don't have a parry, we don't have a stun. 
we do have 8 to 16 damage from point blank from Jacobek. Uh, we do have the ability to set only one of these on fire. I, I really don't want to risk the fire with our, our charges in this next room. Uh, what do I have here? Airdrop? Can give some more grenades. I could open with Iron Curtain. It's not going to accomplish a whole lot, I guess. Well, the minimum damage would be four if both of them hit. It's something at least. Kinda wish I had Crippling Strike from Larius so that we could get that, uh, get that Berserker to be stuck. This is actually really awkward. If I wait a turn... We should have a hundred percent. Um, almost a hundred percent to kill Trooper with one action from Jacobek because of steady hands. And then hopefully the Berserker runs right up to him and we can both barrels. I think that's what we have to do. All right, let's do the hack this turn. Infiltrating access point. Uh, I definitely a watch list is actually really tempting, but I really need those alloys. Oh, yes, fantastic. What does large even mean? Probably like five. What? Okay, the UI lied. Um, that's a bit of a problem. That is a little bit of a problem. We've got 27 hit points to chew through here. 3 to 6, plus 8 to 16. Good thing we didn't have line of sight to anything else. Uh, we got five to nine here. Well, good thing we have Ghost Grenade. At least someone can have some stealth after this. Tumbling actually has a stutter may. Uh, what are the odds of both barrels from here? 61%. That's terrible. I think the first thing we do is see how much damage we get from both barrels. Please don't be eight. That is practically eight. Do we have a officer? I don't think we do. Five to nine. I think we have to just take it. Six damage. We're almost min rolling every time. Three to six. And we get three. Okay then. Tumbling. Someone's got to deal with this trooper. We've only got two actions left. Tumbling can't quite kill it. Unless we get, like, a 2% crit. This trooper doesn't have a grenade, does he? No. Three to six. I think we just have to go for it. This is 
so stupid. Alright, 96%, 4 to 7. Please don't min roll or miss or freeze. Literally just enough. And now we get combat rush, but it's a bit late. If only we could take these six, uh, six rescuees and have them just beat this trooper to death. Um, we know there's like a drone over here, but there's pretty much nothing else that we've seen. So it should... Should be okay to start running these guys out this way. How much mobility do they all have? Here we go. And now we have to weather one shot from a trooper who can go anywhere he wants. Hopefully he runs away. He is running away. Alright. I guess that could have gone wh Oh, hello. It's worse. They get a free shot? Are you... are you kidding? What kind of action economy is this? You start over here... ...and run all the way over here and get a free shot and hit through cover. Bruh. Tumbling, if you please... ...would you kindly... ...save a play. Please delete their cover. I don't know if this part can get deleted, actually. Uh, at least the stun lancer is exposed. So it's only Bean that's been wounded. Um, I have one medkit, I think, if we're lucky. No, oh, that was the other mission. Alright. So far we haven't seen any zombies. I think I have to set the officer on fire. And we know there's a trooper over here as well. Fantastic. He's he's just dead. And that means we're not doing the codex uh, on this mission. That's fine. 98% to kill Lancer. I would love to go into stealth or give someone else stealth this turn, though, with Larius. Uh, how about we move up Jacobek and execute Stun Lancer? Or Heavy Lancer. Fantastic. Hilarious. Uh, so it's going to take two turns if I want to give someone ghost and go into shadow. I could give Sigma Bean ghost. Our most vulnerable person also with an SMG and good mobility. You can become our scout. And it's only if we really need a combat protocol that you're going to get revealed. Let's do it. And that's a pretty strange way to go into stealth, but okay. We'll bring Sigma Bean over here. And... I don't really want to run our little ducklings too far up right now. 
Do we have... It's only the little ducklings that have moves now. Whoops. Oh, come on. Yeah, I was pointing here and it just jumped over here. Not that it matters. Alright. And just punk her where applicable. Alright, Rip Officer. The trooper is still out there somewhere. Uh, I think we just want to stick to the left side of the map and travel back as quickly as we can, though. I know there's a drone around there somewhere. Don't really want to meet it at short range. Let's keep our... Oh, let's start confirmed. with this. It's a l Ooh, there's the drone, I think. It's slightly risky that we lose our stealth, but I really want to look ahead before I send our... Rescuees over this way. And I guess over here. Still don't know where that trooper is. Alright, that's all of them. Larius, um, I think I do want you to go shadow. And we'll get some vision in this general direction. That trooper is nowhere to be found. Let's go grab the loot and then head up the stairs with Jakubek. Apparently I can't grab the loot from there. I guess I should have seen that coming. Um, Freeman over this me, way. Me, 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 me. Tumbles. Okay, je bouge. And... I guess... Check back. You're going to lose your overwatch shot if you run through this, I think. But you're going to be able to look through that window. Yep. Okay, that's fine. So we've killed, what, one, two... Oh, maybe the trooper died to the um, explosion. Nice shot. Glad I didn't waste that overwatch. You didn't just fall through the floor, did you? Nope. I think we're good. Uh, it's way too greasy, greedy to go for that. There's our trooper friend. Probably coming back with yet another squad. Sigma Bean, can you get line of sight on them? Not really. Uh, let's move Larius up instead. And set yourself up for reaction fire at the end of the opponent's turn. How about here? Moving out. And then we get to see where they are as well. Alright, so we have Priest, Trooper, Trooper, it looks like at the exact corner at the end of that building. Larius, I mean, Jakobek is not going to get reaction fire if I can't grab that loot. Shouldn't be thinking about it anyway. Oh wow, he's going to get seen like everywhere over here. Um, Sigma Beam. Definitely want you to keep stealthed and scouting. Getting it done. And 
How far can we run our little ducklings? Further than Sigma Bean. Which might be a little bit of a fucky wucky. Let's not go that reckless. That is a lot of people. And here will be as safe as anywhere. Alright, tumbling satellite. Um, I guess you could potentially do something with Roust next turn. Freeman probably should have parked in there. Oh wow. How did tumbling not get seen just now? If this is... I don't understand. Let's probably get Freeman where we'll be able to get a good grenade next turn. Okay, let's go. Also cause the... And, uh, cause the civilians to yell. And they're gonna... What? I'm getting a little tired of the UI telling me lies. That, that's a little aggravating. We can set the priest on fire immediately. It might be better to just grenade them. There's a chance of killing that trooper outright. We can flashbang all three. Uh, guess what we're not getting is a triple or double reaction fire from Larius. Um, could head over here and not get a flank. Do I use my last incendiary grenade on a priest? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we've seen two drones. That's like, I think this is pretty much the whole map. So, yes, this is more than likely the most dangerous thing left. Alright, he's probably dead. Thanks to boosted cores, needle grenades, and fire. There's a chance of Jacobek getting set on fire. If I move him down here like next turn. It's only Jacobek left to make a decision with. I can get a flank only if I flank myself. That is not a great idea. I could get a flank reaction shot, but we might say hello to a drone. That still might be the best way to go about it. I can't see the I can't pre preview the movement of this guy. What if I come up here with height advantage? Why is there fire up here? Come up here with a height advantage reaction shot. Good chance of killing him outright and not a whole lot of chance of being retaliated against. I think we'll just go for something a bit safer. That also gets us closer to getting out. Affirmative. Yep, he's doomed. One to three, plus one fire damage. I'm pretty sure he can't take only one damage next turn. Going after my... Wow. Rude. Going after my escapees. We are known to them. And we are known to them. Alright. Uh, who's got reaction fire? You do. Tumbles. What can you do? Not a whole lot right now. 
I can force this guy to move and deal like almost no damage to him. Jacobek can 84% priest who's already doomed. Um, maybe I made the wrong move. Oh, hello. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, he would get a reaction shot. I can just hit him with Freeman, actually. There we go. Can I move him up first? Uh, only a little bit. No, this is this is fine. I don't want to go this way. It's something at least. Get him a little bit closer to the evac. Still got a really bad angle to just scrape this guy to get his. I oh, I forgot. It's the only way to prove I'm not crazy. But it's fine. One hit kill, that'll do. Yeah, I forgot we had, um, Sigma Bean. I think Sigma Bean has... Interference? So we could have removed that, uh, Overwatch that way. But I think it was still better to use the... Grenade. We should have 100% to kill this guy. We do if we don't min-roll. Just barely. I have ammo Fantastic. Tumbles, if you please, grab the loot. And Jakobek, run forward Overwatch. Um, Sigma Bean, probably give Freeman one more grenade, and then move up. It'd be better if I didn't have to wait for this animation. There we go. Moving to designated position. All right. Let's not be too greedy moving people up. We've pretty much won the mission at this point. Let's not waste it. Um, I kind of want to move Tumbles next to this guy in case he drops loot. And Hunker... What? Oh, he's in stasis. All the more reason that it's good that we move tumbles up. I hear a door. And they have reinforcements coming. Lovely. Um, so I can't actually shoot this guy this turn. Just gonna have to hit him with overwatch. I don't think he'll be burning anymore either. Or he wouldn't even if he normally would be. That door is open. I heard a door slam open just recently. I don't think it was here though. This door is open. I think we would have seen that. We need to have a bunch of overwatches ready for next turn. We're still at least a couple of turns from the evac. Let's run Sigma Bean over here. Alright, I think we can run all of our little charges up this way safely. Oops. And you're all exposed already. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, the only thing that worries me, even though it's probably just a drone, is that door that I heard. And depending on where the reinforcements end up going next turn. 
you did not move, gain bonus aim and crit. Uh, considering how far back a couple of people are, maybe I should leave Jackabek here for the overwatch shot instead of trying to gain height advantage. I don't know if the sitting still for one turn is going to be enough. Oh, I need to reload to get the most out of Overwatch here. And we'll move Tumbles right next to this guy in Overwatch. And Freeman... I don't think I value the SMG, the laser SMG Overwatch as much as moving you forward. I don't hear anyone yelling that they're flanked, so that's probably not... Oh, that's perfect, actually. Should be pretty easy to deal with. Oh, they did die from fire. Huh. Good shooting. And we get a zombie. Pretty lucky that this is the first zombie we've seen. It's that damn armor. Yes, it is. Alright. Shouldn't be too difficult to clean this up. Um, minimum three damage, point blank. They have three health, one armor. There's a pretty good chance Freeman will one-shot this guy. Or I could grenade him to guarantee a kill. And hit the zombie. And we have a spare grenade because uh, Sigma Bean gave us one. And we can move up and grenade as well. Ah. And we have tandem warheads, so even just barely hitting someone with a grenade will do full damage. Follow the happy ball! What can it be? And the car might blow up. Fantastic. Look at me, look at me. <laughs> okay. Uh do we have shadow? We do. Let's have a look in this general direction. I'm surprised we haven't... Oh, there they are. I've spotted an alien patrol. There's our little drone friends. Is that a zombie? It is a zombie, and it's probably going to explode, uh, die to the car exploding immediately, and it doesn't have line of sight to us. Uh, I'm really glad I didn't try shooting that thing in the face. Sigma Bean can get out in two turns. Fantastic. Let's get him nice and close. Um, are one of these guys going to wake up the drone? No. We can actually start getting some of our rescuees out. You're actually one tile short. You're very short. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. Indeed we have. This actually went surprisingly well, except for the part where Sigma Bean got hit by a random free action from a screen away. Okay, I really don't need Mary Lee to get that close yet. And potentially get spotted by something else next turn. Chun Yi, have a look see over here. James Wilson, off you go. And Ping Li, uh, how about here? Tumbles, time to get moving. Uh, Jacobek, how about over here? And that just leaves Hunker. Scanning. OK. 
kill it with reaction fire, please. Not quite. I think if they take a shot when they come in, when they spot you like that, they can't get a free action, though. What is the zombie doing? I think it double moved because it didn't know where we were. Alright, more in reinforcements are coming. We can pretty much just ignore this zombie. Um, we can almost guaranteed kill this drone with one action. And then not get reaction fire because we need to reload anyway. Uh, we can get triple... Nope, we need to reload. I really need to give Larius uh, an elite mag. So we can take advantage of um, rapid reaction. So far, I've only had one double shot from him. I could have him reload and uh, overwatch right here. There's a chance that he gets shots, but then he can't get out next turn by one tile. Um, who do I want to do what? Sigma Bean could kill the drone, actually. Let's do that. Understood. Moving out. And I'm pretty sure... Actually, I could try and control it, even. I'm pretty sure Combat Protocol would reveal us. Yes, it does. But hacking it, which is 100%, and kills it because of Trojan, uh, is not going to reveal... Are you sure you rolled high enough on that 100% chance? Let's take it. Sigma Bean's going a bit crazy since the... getting the hacking upgrade. And I want Larius... to get at least one reaction shot. Then again... It might be better to just be able to move and shoot something. Well, it depends where they show up. Let's go here so that you could get out My life is in your hands. Uh, next turn, if Keepers necessary. Always vigilant. Tumbles, ignore zombie, run over here and Here's overwatch. Jacobek. I, I want to say reload overwatch, but you'll probably just attack the zombie. Or do the reinforcements come in first? I guess we're going to find out. And Freeman, you've got like a almost zero chance, literally zero chance of killing zombie. And your reaction shot's not going to be that good. Zombie can move how much with one action? Enough to hit you if you blue move. So just dash oh, hey, over this here. Is smart. This is a great idea. Yes, it is. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. Accidentally moved them one tile too far, but it doesn't matter. Got some good animation. And it looks like they're dropping on our heads. Oh, they're dropping behind us. Sergeant Trooper Trooper. That's actually a little bit of a problem, but we can probably just keep running from them. Good start, Tumbles. And he's dead. Nice. I was going to say that's the biggest threat with Red Fog and can't keep up with us, but uh, now he's a zombie. And the animation is confused. I guess we'll just chill here for a bit. Hope you all are having a good one today. That drone's already dead, by the way. We've got the Trojan ability from Sigma Bean. So when it wakes up, it just dies. Uh, it's four damage that it takes with a default level 
Uh, Gremlin? This is taking a little while. I've seen things like this happen before, so I don't think we're actually stuck. Um, I think we're not actually stuck. I notice we're actually over time for the stream, so at this rate I might have to end it there. And you'll just have to take my word for it when we continue this next week. I really don't want to end... I guess it's not bad to end at the end of a mission, like, for the save point. We can easily, like, figure out where we're up to and stuff from there. I really might have to load the game, though. It's obviously not going to be difficult to get out of here without um, any more casualties, though. We can literally just run away from them. Okay, well, uh, we'll see if the game wants to do anything, but for the moment I will start looking for a stream to raid. Uh, let's see. I like that pose that the, uh, that the sergeant is stuck in. Oh, wow. You can see he's still moving. Yep. Yep. It's still working. I mean, for certain values of working. I'm pretty sure he's going to very, very slowly animate. And once it's done, it'll continue. Ice Moon. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do those blood splats just appear? Um, you okay there, buddy? I want to be looking for a stream to raid in the background, but I'm pretty sure the game doesn't run in the background properly. Whenever you're ready, friend. Any time now. Good grief, that is slow. Wait, is it going through the whole animation of him standing up as a zombie? I think it might be. This might take a while. Okay, I'm going to do that on my own time. Uh, we're going to find someone to raid. See if anyone's playing Long War. Otherwise, I don't know where we'll go. I think the best thing is FPS has never dropped, <laughs> indeed. Slow motion for dramatic effect? Very dramatic. Maximally dramatic. We do have a Long War. Legendary Iron Man, Iron Man Long War 2. Uh, so I think we'll raid that one. Character creation tag, does that mean... Does that mean we can be in the game? Let me just have a peek real quick and make sure we're able to chat here and stuff. Followers only chat? I don't know. I don't know, I'm not sure about that one, Chief. Uh, everyone else is like one viewer. Smash or pass sectoids? Playing with viewers ranked. I think they may have um, forgotten to update their tags. That's okay. Okay. This looks fine. Drop in on Bagger, I guess. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. 
and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints for Factorio if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. Uh, tomorrow we'll continue with some oxygen not included. And after that we're back to three days straight of Crestorio 2 and space exploration. Uh, but for now, do you take care. Oh my god, bro. I choked. <laughs> I choked it. Um, you know, let's go style on him. No, I don't have ammo. What am I doing? Oh no. Oh no. You know what? I'm confident. He's not going to hit me. Holy shit. Fat 40 raid. Welcome to our stream. Come get some. Uh, Tyrannosaurus hacks. Is that a spider? <laughs> ah, oh, I forgot the name of the game. It's like, oh, Factorio. It looks like a Factorio spider. It's a robo spider. Yeah, I thought, I, I would think it was like.